All right, we're back live for real this time. That was a, a little mistake on my part there, but Whoopsie. I was going to open with the video, but just didn't go the way I wanted to. Did you say a little mistake? Well, it's kind of a mistake when you hit the button and it kills the broadcast, but, <laughs> you know, it's not like it's the button. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real mistake. So, the after show, I'm going to actually have a little Oberon. The great pale weed ale. Unbelievable. What are you guys drinking? You go out first, Eric. All right, I'm, I grabbed a Founders Dankwood. It's an Imperial Red India Pale Ale aged in bourbon barrels. Oh, I've not seen that yet. That was my response there, Joe. It doesn't have the Bur Barrel A Series logo on it? Yeah, on the cap it does, yeah. So is that a second sister? The next yeah, yeah this, is, this is the second one. I, I think it's the second one. I have um, from a local brewery here, Community Beer Works, mm -hmm. an ice cream cake Palel. So this is a Palel that is actually brewed with a whole ice cream cake in the mash. And then they also put yellow cake mix in there as well. And uh, it was canned on March 30th. It's a 25 ounce can, which you don't see many 25 ounce cans. <laughs> they use a crawler machine because it, when you pour it, it pours like a crawler does very poorly. Um, and it tastes pretty good, but I can't tell you there's no one. Ice cream cake in here, baby. Your yellow cake, baby. What's the style supposed to be in that one? Just a palo. Just a palo. So it has a, a decent sweetness to it up front, and then it kind of just devolves into like a, a generic bitterness with a little bit of like citrus and tropical fruit characters. It's pretty drinkable and tasty, but nothing special. Mm. Anytime I hear someone say yellow cake, I'm always reminded of the Chappelle show. Do you remember that? We He's got, got yellow cake. <laughs> He's got yellow cake. Yellow I got, cake. I got yellow cake and I know how to use it. Yeah, no, that's, that's another Chappelle show skit. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I think a yellow cake and I think an espionage now for some reason. <laughs> like, you're, like, you're, like tr that's trouble if he's got yellow cake. That's, that's, pretty much what the, that's pretty much what they're using. I have yellow cake. It's fantastic. <laughs> yellow cake, bitches. Back up. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Moe's Def, you know, the the rapper, entertainer. He's in there doing it. Yes, and it's... Yeah, he's actually reuniting with the... Uh... Oh, I forgot his partner's name, but they're reuniting to come out with the album. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> he only get that on his channel. <laughs> you can. He can release that on his channel. Eric er, er just is uh, huge into the singing for uh, some the reason. The R&B taps into his soul. Music's good for the soul. Um, Musical soul, baby. There was a post on one of the Facebook groups asking, what would you like to not hear anymore in, in craft beer terminology or craft beer world, I guess? And I was like, is it too soon or is it too much like maybe dank? Is it yeah. a dank overplay now? So in the last couple of years, I've been saying herbaceous or herbal because I feel that's like a little bit more uh, straightforward from a dank character. You know what I mean? Like when you're talking about dankness, if you get an herbal character that has, you know, you can be talking about marijuana or you can be talking about basil or thyme or there's a whole lot of things that can cover. But yeah, dang, the thing is, though, a lot of terms when it comes to reviews and people talking about are generic in general. When people say it's very hoppy, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Like, tell me why it's hoppy. You know, like, it's when, when there's how many, like, hundreds of different hops now and a bunch of different characters. For, when someone says it's hoppy or it's malty, dankness is kind of the same way. It's very generic in a term. I don't, I'm not, I don't really hate the term dank or dank, dankness or anything. Like, I'm, I'm fine with it, but it does get overplayed a bit now with the New England style because a lot of beers are dank. People right. just gravitate towards saying that. I would say hoppy. If you could just get rid of hoppy. Yeah, but can you really get rid of hoppy, though? I mean. Well, I wish people just, again, I, it, I get hoppy. Like, listen, I'm not a beer snob in that aspect. I know when people say hoppy what they mean. But if you're reviewing beer on YouTube, when you say hoppy, 
it's like the most generic term you could possibly use. You're, if you're reviewing an IPA and you say, oh, this beer's super hoppy. Yeah, I mean, it's an IPA. It's supposed to be hoppy. But what inside the hoppiness, what are you getting? There's citrus, there's tropical, there's stone fruits, there's pine, there's dankness, there's herbal tones, there's grassy. Like, there's a bunch of different things. Right. Yeah, hoppy's like a big blanket, I guess you could say, thrown yeah. over it. It's like malty. It's very malty. Uh, well, yes, malty means just basically there's malt in there, and well, all the beers have malt. And usually, maltiness means it's a bit sweeter. Obviously, mm. that provides most of the sweetness. Right. Like how many different malts are out there? There's a lot of different malts. Of malts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get the chocolate and the coffee that coming through and everything. So yeah, and yeah, there's some generic terms out there that probably I say generic, but it kind of just a one term thing that some people will say. I would say for me personally, if it's a if it's a term used a lot in, in reviews or I see on like untapped, fire for me. And this is again and I love it. But when they say this beer's fire, it just I don't oh, know. What about AF? Yeah, yeah, AF. This is this is hoppy as AF. I just want to choke that individual. But no. When I feel like oh this beer's fire, I'm like oh, Jesus Christ. Am I gonna have to unsub now? No. It's <laughs> it's it's just a personal preference, right? It's like there's a lot. Everybody out there has different things. Um, like Matt from Massive Beer Reviews posting that video a few weeks ago saying what he he did this top five uh, beers to pair with like Hey Dot Beer Tube. And he talked about how like people doing the whole clickbait in the title of like best beer ever question mark. Or, you know, is it, was this the best beer that was ever uh, brewed on a Sunday in the month of April uh, before 7 a.m. Like, just, it's it's stupid. It's just clickbait titles. Right. There's a lot of stuff like that <laughs> when it comes to craft beer. Yeah. But I would say, for, like, I could see Dank. I could see Dank. Dank is a little bit overplayed. Um, I mean, a lot of people say it. I mean, I, you know, it comes up. I mean, even Eric's title of his beer has Dank in it, but, you know, like, I was like, resinous, resiny. Mm -hmm. Well, like, when someone says dank, like I said, I feel more of like you can say weed. You could say, like I said, the basil thyme type of or like an herbal component that has that <clears throat> that dank character. Like when you smell it, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. But if you specify what the dankness is, I'm cool with it. <laughs> but so many beers are dank now. Like they really are. What's up, Ethan? Hey, how's it going, guys? What's that? What's going on, Thanks brother? So you broke your contract with me. I was going to say, yep. I, uh, <laughs> I'll talk about that later. Anyway, um, so what I was going to say was the most outplayed terminology for reviewing beer or whatever. I have to say liftoff when it comes to aroma only because, well, I don't know, it just it doesn't, it's, it's kind of a blanket statement. You know what, what the I'm fuck saying? is liftoff? Like lift yeah. yeah, I said right off, blasting right off the top. Is that what I said? Is that what you said? I, I don't said, fucking know. I said blast. Yeah, I said black. I could get the aroma blast right off the top. Yeah, not lift off. I don't know the fuck lift off. Blast off. Blast off? That's my that's my term, Joe. That's my yeah. term now. Lift off. <laughs> you, can, you can you can change it to whatever you want, Ethan. Three, two, one, lift off. Yeah. You think Ethan's you think Ethan's an AF guy? This yeah. beer is fire AF. Yeah, this beer is so <laughs> dank AF. <laughs> it's out there. I'm, I'm going to use that term now, Joe, just to upset you. No, I know you will. And I'll watch it and I'll be upset. <laughs> you should probably do it while you're drinking your six year old IPA. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's AF, 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 AF. This beer is old AF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. This beer is old AF. That's what you put in the email. For real, bro. It is yeah. old. <laughs> Can I speak to Real. Mr. Oliver, please? This is not acceptable. <laughs> or R E E L Z for reels. For reels. So, what are you drinking on? Anything you can? Uh, just homebrew whiskey, and uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything besides in the cellar right now. I don't have anything in the fridge. But Ooh, I thought I had another. Whiskey. I thought I had another Galaxy High. Uh, from Mad Tree in there in the bridge. You, you and Rod, you and Rod, high fives, high fives. I was out. So. Jam. That is a good ass beer, AF. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so so next, so the next review that I shoot, I'm using AF as well. I have to, 
Fire and AF are both in there. Everyone's gonna be like, "You're an idiot." And I'm be like, "I know," but also just, this is up, just go to Urban Urban Dictionary and just look up the craziest like kind of terminology you can use, and then just <laughs> yes. do all that and just make people try to figure out what the hell you're talking about. They already struggled with what I'm talking about. I, I mean, I will respond accordingly in the same way <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> And you probably should worry about the apocalypse because I have a channel now, and uh, it, should, it was never going to happen. Yeah, so. The Browns are going to the Super Bowl, so yeah. Okay, now sit, let's just settle down real quick. <laughs> I heard there were a lot of people upset over the trade or uh, over the drafts. So a lot of Bills fans are upset about the Josh pick, but Bills fans usually are upset because we never win anything. So we like the Browns. <laughs> yep. Yep. Everybody's equal now, zero zero. So we'll see. Yeah, for sure. Maybe someone will actually. Um, well, I mean, everyone's zero for zero. I mean, but clearly the Browns are—they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's clear as day they don't make playoffs. <laughs> nope. Ever. The we, Lions. We have the, we have the money. We're not. Too, we're just too damn cheap to spend it. Well, that would that'll, that'll be, that'll be an interesting Super Bowl. The Lions and the Browns would be an interesting Super Bowl. Yo, that is the apocalypse. Like, it, I would, it's I happened, it's happened once bunker. in the 50s. It's happened once in the 50s. Yeah, well, you guess, not, in the Super Bowl area, Lions and Browns are two teams that haven't made it yet. I'll leave it to a Lions fan to point out something that happened like 68 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's our glory. That's what yeah. we got to point back to. I remember when the Lions and the Browns met. I was not even, even thought about. Like It was 30 hey, years before know. I was conceived. Eagles fans used to do it all up until last year. They used to do it. Remember when Norman Van Brockham was like that? Man, we were the champions of the world. That was like in the fifties. <laughs> hey man, look at look at the uh, Cavs, man. They they fucking finally won, and it, it can happen. The Cubs won. He <laughs> <laughs> <You> laughed. <laughs> it happen. It could. I mean, it can happen. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to. I'm just saying if the Browns were like to make the playoffs and somehow win the Super Bowl, it shocked the shit out of everyone. But if you put the Vegas, he put a five dollar bet down in the Browns. They should have won it against the Giants that one year. There ain't no, you're not gonna. They, they should have won against the Giants that one year. Who? The the Bills. Oh, uh, about the, oh no, the Bills should have beat. So the Bills should have beat the should've. Giants. But should've. Belichick, who was the D coordinator for the Giants, put together like one of the best. Game plans of all time and basically shut down the Bills' offense, which no one could. Yeah, but it came down to a field goal. It did, but I mean, like they to hold the Bills to 19 points was like, yeah, no one was holding them like under 30, and they held them 19. But yeah, everyone liked to bl blame Scott Norwood, but the man had to kick a 48 yard field goal. And you go look at the percentages for 48 yard field goals nowadays, and it's still probably like in a 65 70 percent range. It's not a guarantee. Yeah, and it was hardly, you know, yeah. yeah. No, it's it just was, and it, how, people forget about Thurman Thomas losing his helmet for the first part of the game. Like, where was he early on? He I couldn't remember find his that. Yeah. helmet. Yeah, that's cool. How do you lose your helmet. But God, forget about Scott Norwood missing a difficult 40 air field goal. How about Thurman Thomas find his fucking helmet at the beginning of the game? Would that help? Bill maybe? Belichick. Yeah, Bill Belichick probably fucking hit it on him because he's a cheater. So it doesn't matter. Somebody else in this game with other he's Thurman Thomas. Somebody give him a helmet. <laughs> Like, look, does anyone have a helmet? Like, our best player can't play because he lost his helmet? Because just someone – Mark Kelso, you have three helmets in one. You All the concussions. Give it to fucking Thurman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they should have uh, been Cowboys, too, and then they had some calamities happen to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, it's just one of those things where the, the – <laughs> The Bills, even though they didn't win, to go to four straight Super Bowls is fucking amazing. It really is. That is probably never going to happen again. Certainly it's not. Probably never happen that. again to, four, to go to four Super Bowls and not even win one. No, yeah. that's certainly not going to happen again. Uh, Chris from on the tent says, "Hi guys, just yeah. chilling out, getting ready for bed soon. Just finished some chocolate covered Amons." Uh, Amons. <laughs> some Amons. Some Amons. I like almonds. I like almonds. Chocolate covered ones sound pretty good. Here's Ethan. I thought Ethan was dragging a body there for a second. Plus well, his own. <laughs> baby, is that Ethan Flair? Baby, is that Ethan Flair? He's sitting here, baby, baby doll. He's looking for baby doll. Got six yeah, people watching. Condolences. 
I still gotta watch that uh, giant special too. Yes, you do that. Shit's okay. fucking fire. A- okay, AF. Oberon. <laughs> Oberon's good. I like Oberon. It's probably my favorite. I, just, I, I had it on tap not too long ago. It was pretty good. I like Fuck the mango, Oberon. The mango, not the mango. The habanero Oberon. That was even better. Yeah, I would like oh, to try that. The, the mango habanero one. I like the like. mango habanero. That yeah. one was awesome. See, awesome. I think that would. Oberon, I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't like the style to begin with. But I see how people like it. Like I know how the, the, I their know whiskey one like called the Uberon. That was really good too. Yeah, that one sounds good. I'd like to try the variants. Like I feel Oberon is a perfect beer to fruit. So the mango yeah. habanero sounds good. But like, give me a raspberry Oberon or like a fucking blueberry one or something. I think that would be awesome with all kinds of different berries. You like a coconut? Bell, get on it. I wouldn't even want a coconut. I want it like I want like a three berry one. Give I me raspberry, strawberry, detail, baby. Berries. But baby. <laughs> would you drink it? Oh, fucking right, I would. <laughs> like, that's not even a question. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Protein. Oh, baby, look at that. that a nitro beer, baby? Did you nitro your own beer, beer? Did that with your ether flare? No. If you got a milk just, mustache, baby, it's a milk mustache. The carb, the carb was a little too high. So I saw you were doing, I saw the, the, the review you did, and then you compared it. Like, no, baby, look at it. Look at it. Uh, look at the color, baby. No, How was it drinking? Do have a review. I actually do have a review of it coming up. I would like to try it. I'm not going to review it, but I would love if you sent me one. I would, well, I would, okay. I would try and give you feedback. That you might not have my palate's anything, but I probably only have like maybe a 12 pack left. All right, whatever. Don't send it to me. Fuck off. Or, so <laughs> I, I'm going to just brew another batch and then see how it goes. But have you guys talked about any styles lately? Like new styles? No, we haven't talked about any styles. My uh, head brewer was talking about it the other day. Well, more like a couple weeks ago, but still. He was talking about uh, Brute and how that's supposed to be like the new oh, God. or going to be the new style of... Didn't, didn't Sam Adams come out with one of them like a while ago? Like a long time it, ago? They're, they're, uh, it's most, I think he said it was Central. No, it wasn't Central. He, I think he said it was more like Southern California that's kind of doing it, but like there's only well, like a couple of breweries that have been doing it, but well, I, actually did, I actually did drink a few brew beers over the last year. I can kind of see where that just started to see them pop up. Well, a little bit I, I mean, like I, I want to say, let me specify, Brute IPA. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I don't uh, know because I know Brute is like they're they're like the champagne beers and and, and they yeah are, they, they use they, like a champagne type they're yeast. They're very yeah. similar to champagne. Yeah, that's that's right. what I like. Super yeah. carbon. But I never so had. We so it's like a hybrid then, an IPA and basically a brute mm-hmm. company. Yeah, because they were, because they were, they were, because we were. I asked him one day. I was like, "What do you think is going to be the next big thing?" And he said, "It might be brute because he, you know, he got me onto listening to podcasts, and uh, and so that he brought that up of brute IPA because a couple of breweries, I think he said in Southern California, started doing it, and then, you know, and now like." In uh, was it the the World Beer Cup and uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say well, maybe the Great American Beer Festival. I don't know, but like you know, bringing that up so like I feel like a lot more places are probably. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna blow up as much yeah. as like New England IPA, but I think it's gonna be like the goes in my opinion. Like it's gonna be like a lot of places are gonna do it, but I don't think it's gonna be as popular. You know what's really popular right now? It's like over the last six months is sour IPAs, not dry hop yeah, sours. But yeah. sour IPAs, like they actually like brew an IPA, throw the bacteria like lactobacillus or whatever, you know, the, the uh, kettle souring. And what there's one brewery in uh, New York State that's getting really popular with them, like people waiting lines, Hudson Valley. Mm. And it's blowing up, but I really can't say I've had I've had one beer from Hudson Valley, a sour IPA, and it was pretty good. But I haven't had too many else in the like. I can't think of one outside. I've had a lot of dry hop sours, but I haven't had any I think, sour I, I think it's, I've only had two, and I can't even remember the names of them because I just remember the taste and the smell because it, it like it smells like an IPA. Like, of course, yeah. I'm gonna have to say it. dank. Maybe IPA. dank. Maybe <laughs> the taste was sour, and I was like, "Whoa, that's weird." That's a, and I don't know if I liked it. I was just like, I don't know, you know, like I don't know. I feel it'd be refreshing for like a spring summertime where you want something that's hot forward, but at the same time you want the refreshing qualities of like a tartness or a sourness. Um, I was just confused. Yeah. My palate was confused. 
like Hudson Valley is where they released one recently that like chocolate, sh- chocolate and cherries and like berry, like a berry in it along with the sour IP. I was like, that's fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. That just sounds weird. On uh, on Untapped right now, here are the top ten global top beers. Oh boy, you know any list sucks, but I'm willing to listen. But like well, these are people. These are people checking in beers. These are the top ten really being checked in globally. You know, All on Untapped right now. Yeah. So number one is which I have in the fridge, the Waldo's special. Oh album. yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't pick any of that up. I should have. I don't know why I didn't. Number two, which I have in the cell, was Kentucky Breakfast out. Really. Number three, one I haven't seen yet, but want to pick up is Dogfish Dragon and Yum Yums. I dude, I was ju- I was just at the bottle shop today, staring it down, and I had like thirty dollars worth of stuff after just spending sixty day before. I was like, eh, fuck you, Dogfish Head, just fuck you right now. So that was I didn't get it. That was first 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 first. I was not a fan of. I was like, yeah, I'd get your yummy, I'd like, get your yummy, whatever, but I'm gonna get this Brooklyn bullshit over here. <laughs> the, number four was another one I'm looking for. New Belgian Hemper HPA. Oh, they had that on tap at the same place, uh, but it but it kicked like a lot of people on try it clearly because yeah, a lot of people have been chasing. I know. Number five is Guinness Draft. Huh, number that's, six. That's surprising. Number me. six is Heineken. That surprises me. Number as well. Just check I in. Like, check in globally. I mean, yeah. But that, 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 like like Stella. that shows you though how many. That's. See, that's why I thoroughly enjoy on tap to any other resource out there when it comes to ratings, because you get it's so easy to download the app and just rate stuff. So you get people all walks of life, macro drinkers, micro drinkers in between where you go to beer, yeah. advocate, rape beer, it's pretty much craft beer drinkers on tap brings everyone. So you get a, a better, I think, scope of the actual rating or how people perceive the beer. But anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Go on. All right. Number seven is Hazy Little Things, Sierra Nevada. So that's called mm-hmm. fire. Number A-F. eight. <laughs> number, eight, <laughs> number eight is High Lies Cigar City. You know why? That I get they uh I think they got bigger distribution now. I know they're in Michigan. So watch it check, yeah. keep it keep your eye out for that uh Eric uh Cigar City, they're high line and I think they're yeah, they're yeah, going I, to- I heard they're gonna start dis- distributing up here. Cigar yeah. City is I like High Lies, but what's that anything? I was gonna say I've only seen their collabs, so I've never oh. actually seen their beers yet. Number nine is you're truly here over on Bell's Brewery. Christ. And number two, we can like $5 for a 32 ounce glass. Wow. Pretty sweet. Wow. Yeah. Number 10 is Lagunitas IPA. Uh, dude, uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a thing that at least pertains to me. Lagunitas IPA is the most underrated IPA like of a of a big bigger craft brewery for me. Yeah. Every time I fucking have Lagunitas IPA, I'm drinking. It, I'm like, how do I ever buy this? Why do I never get yeah. this? What am I doing with my life? And it's the price. You can't argue. No, I had it on tap yeah. at a local um, burger burger joint here, uh, and I'm just drinking. I'm like, this is this is fucking. This is great. What? Why? Why don't I have yeah. this in my fridge occasionally? What am I doing? Happy, happy it, hour. It was like fifty cents cheaper than local. It was yeah, like four, four to four fifty. I I had it at happy hour. It's four dollars for like, like a sixteen ounce uh, pint. Yeah. I was like, dude, this is yeah. yeah I'm happy. Like, so <laughs> yeah, that way, that way, usually final tap at a lot of the places too. BW three mm-hmm. or Fridays and stuff like that. That is probably the best IPA that you can find. Like. At a lot of places, at a lot of bigger restaurants and stuff, it's it's such a good beer too, and because it's Lagunitas, it's it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It's a great yeah. thing. I love Lagunitas. Would save a lot of price. Yeah. Bye. Here's the. No, I was just gonna say, have you guys seen the Born Again Yesterday show up yet? I think it showed up this past week, and I, yeah. I need to get it. I didn't see that. Yeah. That and, uh, citrusiness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, citrus, citrus and Venus. Or have you say it? Citrusinesis. Yeah, they make you try to figure out how to how to pronounce it. It's a lot of fun. Citrusinesis. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> here's the uh, here's the top ten trending locations though by Untapped. Oh boy. Number one, Treehouse Brewing Company. Yeah, it doesn't surprise. Charleston, me. Massachusetts. What does that mean? Trendy? Is that like? Novel where people, or people are checking in beers at or oh okay why is the most locations getting oh, checked okay I see I see what you're saying yeah 
Uh, number two is Boneshire Brew Works, Harrisburg, PA. Probably not too far from where Paul is. Yeah, Paul's probably just there all the time. No, I think Harrisburg from him is like two or three hours. He's 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 kind of like oh, in the middle. Okay. Harrisburg is uh, close to Bump, pretty sure. Yeah, no, no, Bump's in Pittsburgh. Yeah, but Harrisburg's like a little bit to the south. No, Harrisburg's eastern PA. That's outside where I grew up in New Jersey. Let me see. Other side of state. All right, so so yeah, maybe it is. But um. Number three is Evil Genius Beer Company out of Philadelphia. Number four in Eric's Backyard, Founders Brewing Company, Detroit. Number five, Joe's Backyard. Well, not really your backyard because it's Brooklyn, but other half brewing company. What kind of shit is that? My backyard? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, six is Wrigley Field. A lot of drunks at Wrigley Field. <laughs> 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 They're struggling this year, so they got to get hammered up. I mean, you're watching the Cubs. They might get drunk. Number seven is Funk Brew in Elizabethtown, PA. PA's got some drinking going on. We got a lot uh, of breweries and a lot of just breweries number, in general. Number eight, Grizzlies, Plymouth, Minnesota. Ooh. Number nine, a place in between me and Ethan, Warp Wing Brew in Dayton, Ohio. I've yeah, had a couple I've things from Warp Wing. I think, I think I've only had one beer from them. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I, was check, I thought the I thought, What's but, that? No, I was told I need to go back and try the Gamma Bombs. That some people think they changed the recipe from when I did a review a couple years ago, so I need to try it out again. I've had from Warp Winged. I've had their uh, Flying Rye and their Ten Tongue. That's what I had. No, yeah. Ten Tongue for, for me though. All right. It was pretty good. It was uh, creamy, yeah. smooth. I, I the, yeah, the body didn't uh, affect me. My buddy uh, Kyle had a can of it, and I thought the label was cool. Yeah. No. Was, yeah. Yeah. And then the last number ten is the Answer Brew Pub, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, dude, they so they're making basically like fruit juice beers at this point. Um, they make these like three points, three point five percent, I think, or four percent, three point five percent, like popsicle beers that basically taste like, you know, like oh your, yeah, like your freeze Ooh. pops. People go nuts about them, and it's apparently they're fantastic, but they don't really taste like beer. And I've heard a lot of people say like. They're they're good as mixers. Goes. They're like, oh, this be a great mixer, and I'm like, it's a beer. <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't have to add anything to it. It's three point five percent. I understand, but if you're paying whatever the amount yeah. is because they're putting so much real fruit and stuff in, it's like you shouldn't have to add any kind of alcohol to it. But yeah, that's I, the I see more this year is going to be a lot more of the beer cocktails. Oh yeah, the beer cocktails are big, huge. Almost every brewer yeah. I've, I, yeah. I go to has yeah. them. I was I was going to say, I actually bought a book. An older book with uh, beer cocktails that I bought at the library for like a dollar. So, Thrifty I spender. might do some reviews of that. Wait, actually, do do some cocktails from the book, like recipes. Yep. Yeah, that'd be cool. I know. Uh, I know. Like, DJ DJ does a lot of like you know beer beer. Oh, does he? I didn't stuff. know that. Yeah, he is he, somewhere. He makes the drinks and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He also is very enthusiastic at all times. Yeah, yeah me. Because he's energized. Oh, he's energized, man. He be, he's enthusiastic, baby. He, he's so excited all the time. Tell you about these beers. He does baby. a, a lot with you. his hands, too. He's, he's like really a young Emory. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to take off because I got to go to work tomorrow. All right, hey, Eric. Take it easy, Eric. We'll all right. See you later, see guys. guys. Thanks, let, let us, hey, let us know what uh, it looks like about it. Yeah, let us know what the, about the beer. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll let you know what the uh, Brooklyn says. Mm -hmm. All right. Take it easy. All right. See you guys. Yeah. Jesus, what happened to Todd? I guess I guess this garage door is not coming down at all. He's got a lot of trouble with the garage door right now. Raz one two four shows up. He says, "Hey guys, boo." What's up? Um, I, I believe he's upset that Eric left. What's up, Raz? What are you drinking? I know you're in Long Island. You're probably drinking some kind of freaking. New England style something. Maybe not though. I'm not judging you, Raz. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just you, have, saying. you have you have access to a lot of great haze bombs. It's so hazy outside. So <laughs> hazy. Are you? Uh, for, if, at first, I I just realized you maybe wrapped a blanket around you, but maybe I thought maybe your Ethan Flair thought you had a fur coat on, baby. <laughs> Diamond and profiling. <laughs> Like the nature, boy, yeah. baby. Yes, I do. Winter is coming. Oh, I see what you did there. 
Ah. Winter just left, though. Like, literally Winter just, just left. left. It's be like, oh, you guys want 70 degrees? Yeah, yeah I taste. just like being comfortable. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So have you seen any new brewery stuff up there, Ethan? Hell no. Actually, yeah. Uh, I just saw that there was a uh, was that lock lock fifteen uh, in Akron. They're opening up here. They, well, they they announced that they're going to be opening in June. I know. Um, but other than that, that as far as I've seen, besides shale that's opening up, and probably the same time, probably like June or July, because um, they were they're moving from the production brewery to a tap room slash like the same thing. So. Mm. They just, it was just uh, one of the breweries here locally closed down, so they kind of took over, and now they're kind of like moving in, you know, because it's like a prime spot, and, you know, you don't really, you probably don't, have, they probably didn't have to pay for a lot, you know, getting water lines in and all that, so, but, yeah, they're going to be in probably around June, probably even earlier, but we'll see, but other than that, I mean, I think that's all I've heard so far. But, well, I've seen you guys are getting more urban artifact distribution up in that part of the state. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Yeah, Ethan, don't take this the wrong way, but I only take my Akron beer news from Lance the Lush. <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> the only man no, in Akron that I know. Of. Me and him need to do a collab so bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to hit him up, but he just doesn't. I don't know. He just doesn't respond to me at all. You hit him up on the car lot. Hey, Lance. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I know, he should. To his place of his car, we'll throw his six pack. Of well, he, sh- right. he shops at the same homebrew store I go to, so I might talk to Mike and be like, "Hey, there you what's go. his credit card information? I want to know where he lives." <laughs> or <And I> just, <laughs> just offer a free like six pack of Natty Daddy, and Lance will be there. <laughs> hey, they they have a uh, what's the no? They have I was actually in downtown Kent, which is kind of like not a great neighborhood, and they actually have. A case, well, not a case, but like uh, I think it was like a eighteen pack. So they said it was like two extra natty daddies. Like it said it right on the package, and I'm like, this is hilarious. So two like, extra, nah. two extra. Yeah, it was like two days? extra, and like that's how they say. It. Or like I don't know if it's because like there was just a bunch of tall boys, and maybe they you know added you know twenty four times whatever or twenty five. Is that what they say? One extra ounce. Yep. So one extra ounce, baby. Twenty five instead of twenty four. I didn't even look at it. But I can get a lot of malt liquor down there, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> if I ever it's wanted to do a malt right? liquor review. R- Raz124 says, LOL, in my re- um, in, in, in response to me saying he has a bunch of New England style IPs, he goes, he's actually picked up a four-pack of Dogfish Head 90-Minute. Nice stuff. Oh, wow. nice. That's, that's one of the more old-school uh, you know, East Coast IPAs that I enjoy. I, I, I like both 60 and 90. 120 is one of those beers where I like it to age. I don't like it really fresh. Yeah, I eat yeah. pretty fresh when I've had it. But have you guys I'll, had seventy? Do you ever have the seventy-five minute IPA? Yes, the yes. wine. That's the yeah. wine one, right? No, yeah. no, not the wine one. No, no, they mix the sixty. Like, oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the maple syrup one. The maple syrup. They mix yeah, sixty yeah. ninety and then put yeah. maple syrup in. Where they took Johnny Cash. Sixty-one minute. Is on the it. wine one. Sixty-one minute. What's that? Sixty-one minute. Yeah. It's. Uh, what were you I saying? Was say, I was I was saying the seventy five minute is like the Johnny Cash where he's breaking the barrel open, but they're the, you know <laughs> yeah. the uh, what's it uh oh fuck, what's his name? Ethan, don't hurt Groucho. yourself. Groucho, Groucho face. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, Groucho face. They really need you yeah. not to hurt yourself, Ethan. We don't have insurance here. I'll be a show, baby. I, just, I can't. I can't control myself. Ethan Flair, Ethan Flair, you're gonna have to take those gators off and stick it on someone's ass, baby, like a Ric Flair. <laughs> Have a hard time keeping these gators down. <laughs> no, but Rod, you need to watch the uh, the Andre the Giant special. It was really good, but it was it was a little bit more depressing than I anticipated. And I know a lot of people said yeah. that, but it was good to see kind of like there's a lot of stuff I really didn't know about him, like how he came up yeah. through the ranks and all this stuff. It was really really good though. And that's isn't that crazy though when you watch something and you think this is gonna be great and then it's just like. Damn, I feel so bad. It's just like yeah. watching that. I watched that Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh yeah. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, you it's know, you it's think, tough. You think you've heard stories of people having it rough? Like, damn. Especially when when you grew yeah. up watching those guys as like entertainment and not necessarily heroes, but like you know, you look up to them. You're like, man, I idolize them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just yeah. like, and then you find out, look, despite the fact that they're, you know. Larger than life, they still are human beings and yeah. have feelings well, and like, have issues. And yeah. 
that's like the same thing I feel like with serial killers. You know, it's like they do all this shit, <laughs> baby. That was, like, a, that was a that was a that was a questionable segue, baby. <laughs> questionable. Just <laughs> Well, no, it's just like, like I'm, I'm always like, wow, how could they do this? They're fucking evil and all this shit, you know. Yeah. And then when like you actually get down to it, it's like, wow, that's so fucking. That's like sad and 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 uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, like fucking pitiful. You no. Know? It's like god dang, like I feel sorry for you. Especially you when know? they can hide it so well. It's like they murdered twenty people, and it's just like they. But for the last thirty years, they were just going to work and living a normal life right. and having or a like family. It's like what the history, fuck? Their, their past history is like fucking pathetic. You know what yeah. I mean? Like just amounting to nothing, you know, literally nothing. And then literally nothing. Uh, it's just crazy. It's speaking of Golden State, serial killer, the Golden State Strangler. Yeah. Whatever his name is. yeah that was crazy. Yeah, we were talking about that the other night. Yeah. Uh, that's that's yeah, you crazy. Mi- you missed out, Joe. What happened? Where were you? Where, where, where were you guys talking about? What the, oh, was it on uh it was on Knicks. Oh, Knicks. I, yeah, I wasn't around. I, the PBR, I was going to get one, but then I wasn't going to be able to I totally it, so forgot. I was like, I, I was I like why am I buying a PBR if I'm not getting it? Like, that's stupid. So I did. Well, they have that uh, PBR 5.9 now. I didn't even know that. I I don't I don't want to know that. I bought the, the American yeah. Pal Out. I bought the American Pal Out. You did buy it? I did. I got it in the fridge right now. It's a buck seventy four. You know, you know what's funny is I was saying no, I was I just saying uh, a couple <laughs> weeks ago on the show that uh, what's it? Uh, oh man, what is uh, Stroh's? Stroh's Stroh's is coming out with an IPA too. Jesus, they're, they're, try- they're saying that they're trying to meet you know demand of what people want, and I'm like, wow, I wonder if Anheuser and shit are going to do that. But obviously they're not because they're buying out companies. But still, well, Anheuser has their bourbon out. Yeah. The bourbon beer coming out in September with Jim Bean. Jesus Christ Almighty, help! Help us! I mean, I I don't feel too bad because I bought a fucking Jenny bunch of Jenny products because yeah, Jenny week I'm doing the pilot but, uh, pilot stuff or the uh, so yeah, stuff. so they, they released a cream ale sampler pack that has a honey orange oh. cream ale, what? and mosaic dry hop cream ale and an imperial cream ale. So I'm gonna do That's Jenny week where beer I, mail. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do right. the regular cream ale, the three special cream ales. And then Jenny Bach, I think I'm going to do. And uh should be a fun week of drinking macros. <laughs> I'm all right with it, though. You know, this is kind of unrelated, but if you actually send those videos, they're actually very responsive to that kind of shit. So, Oh, Jenny? If you're trying to get that free merch. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I mean, I'm going to shit on all of them, I imagine, because they'd be terrible. <laughs> I've had the yeah. Honey Orange one before uh, on tap at a beer fest. And it was actually pretty good. Like I, it was, it yeah. was good. It, it, but here's the thing about Jenny, the Jenny Brewhouse stuff. It's pretty goddamn good. Like there, yeah. it's it. Their stuff. I, I had one of the best whippers I've ever had in my life at their brewery. So like, I had the their Scotch ale and that pretzel chocolate yeah, order, it, and I was like, it's pretty good. Wow. I'm yeah. Like, what the hell? I'm like, this is the end. Yeah, it's like Jen, Jenny's brewing like craft beer. That's fucking good. What what just happened? It's just crazy to think about though. Like, did Anheuser really think that it was smart to buy breweries instead of like taking their instead of taking like their highest probably quality brewery and then turning it like so they could be like, we're gonna make the best IPA. Or we're gonna do this and, blah, blah, blah. and, and that was like, literally do it. And the simple you know fact I mean? of the matter is if AB and Dev honestly wanted to brew like top flight craft beer, they could do it in a heartbeat. They have all the resources. That's what I'm saying. Like Yeah, that, they, they could. But then you know, then you gotta like think about, you know, the whole tradition thing. You know, like <laughs> in the Anheuser Bush. Like guys are not gonna go for that. They're gonna go for the, the bush, they're gonna go for the bush lights, they're gonna go for the bud lights, they're gonna go for the Budweiser, shit like that. So it's like I guess they kind of looked at it from a business standpoint of what they can sell. And not so much of what we can do. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you, I've seen a lot of. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen any of these, but I've seen a lot of like interviews with like former AB and Bev brewers and whatnot. And you'd be surprised, you'd be surprised at how many of them a homebrew and b homebrew stuff they want to drink and c drink a lot of craft beer. And if you gave a lot of those guys the resources to do that in a brewery by AB and Bev, they could. Produce top flight fucking craft beer. I mean, if they're if they're like done in AB or retired, they're probably signing a contract saying they're not allowed to do that. So probably there's there's a lot of underhand shit. Probably happen. Yeah, 
But I mean, ABM Dev. I, I maybe it's. I think. I think what ABM Dev. ABN. AB in Dev. <laughs> the AB, fuck the in Dev part. It's what Anheuser Busch tries to do is they try to buy established brands because it's easier that way. They well, don't have to establish themselves. Speaking you know? of buying established brands, what about uh, was it Sapporo buying out uh, Anchor? I heard yeah, about yeah. that. That yeah, was that last was a- summer, but I just I just now heard of that last night when they were talking about. It. I'm like, what? It might actually help Anchor because Anchor's. <laughs> Anchor's the OG craft brewery at this point yeah, in America, I think right? They have some new beers out, though, it seems. Yeah, they have the Blackberry Days IPA. They have uh, the Anchor I've Coffee seen. Porter. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But they, they are the OG craft brewery since the Renaissance back oh, in the yeah. They were probably They were probably before Sierra Nevada. Yeah. If not right before. No, they were before like, Sierra Nevada. They, they were Fritz yeah. Maytag. I think it was in the early 70s. The thing about them, though, is just to give you an example is – when I started my channel, I wanted to do Anchor Porter as like my the first beer to review because it, it meant something to me. I couldn't find it within like an hour and a half drive of my house. Yo, that's I how, that's how Anchor. Well, that, no, I'm Todd, our, our buddy of ours, he he mailed it to me. He mailed me three bottles because I'm like I can't find it. It's it's crazy to me that the OG craft brewery in America. I couldn't get like one of their staple beers locally because they don't carry it around here because it doesn't sell. Yeah. It's insane how far they've fallen off. But you know, time yeah, catches up. It does. It does. I mean, you have to hit. Listen, it's it, you know we did Brooklyn tonight, but you have to stay uh, concurrent with the times. Like it has to has to be something where you stay true to your roots. But trends yeah. are trends, and you got to kind of follow the trends that you think are going to be established. So many people are adverse to making like a New England style IPA, and I've heard so many people on uh, YouTube or in general in the craft beer community all over, locally mm-hmm. here online, say that it's a fad. And I'm sorry, it's not a fad. It's been around for a five, at least five years. And every brewery is doing one, and people like that. It's going to be about will it be the biggest like, in it's recognized okay. as a style now. Yeah, it's a recognized as a style. It's going to be here. It's just like people five years ago thought bourbon barrel aged beers were going to be a fad. Guess yeah. what? Every single fucking brewery does a bourbon barrel aged beer. Why? Because yeah. people like them. I would just say if you don't know how to make it right, though, then don't make it. Cause... No, no. Yeah. Don't half ass. Especially yeah. when it comes to barrel aged beers and like, oh, we'll throw it in the barrel for two and a half months. Why? You're just wasting those barrels. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. Brew well, beer that can know, stand up to him. He also has to look at like some places, like brewery wise, like that. More or less, look at business standpoint of like make as much beer as possible and as much money as possible, but don't change anything. Just keep the same amount, steady amount. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. instead of thinking about what we could do, or which is probably like ninety percent of you know micro nano whatever craft brewery out there but then there are some out there that are decently established but they're they just want to keep it that way they don't want to like go any you know further so i mean at least that's my been ex- my experience so yeah. yeah from what i've seen and heard at least around here locally so we have uh, <clears throat> we have eight people watching I'm not sure why, but also <laughs> one's common. I better be careful what I say. <laughs> yeah. But um I don't know, it's interesting. Like there's some some of our local ones, I mean, they they're growing, but they're growing at a good pace where it's kind of more just for the local community. Like someone like Listerman brewing down here does some great beers, but if you're not really around Cincinnati area, you'll never really see them as much because they're not out there. And I look at like so like Urban Artifact, how they're jumping up now. And they were kind of that way last year, but they're trying to push the envelope a little bit more. And it's like, don't push yourself too far. Yeah. You become thinned out. But that's what so like far, working with them. The urban artifact is that down in your area? Yeah, that's down there too. Okay. So. They, to they, they, they focus on their niche, so they make wild and sour ale. So they've uh, always done that, and they're known to be that one. Other companies are trying to, or other breweries are trying to get into it now, but it's kind of like. Yeah, but you're no urban artifact. I mean, they specialize in. They know what they're doing, and people yeah. love them because of that. Kind of like it's, Little Fish. Little like fish right now, they're thing. sour. They're sour. It's nowhere close to how good the urban artifact stuff is. 
Some people yeah. all like it, but it's like, hey, have you been to Urban Artifact? No. Check them out. You know, go over there, and it's like, oh, these are really good. <laughs> I, I heard uh, decent things about Listerman, and I just saw Matt over at Matt's beer. If you yeah, see it, somebody so. said, oh, yeah, he did. And I did not realize, like, Listerman was, like, big into New England style and doing, like, you know, weekly releases or bi-weekly releases and stuff. That's kind of – I never even thought of them. Yeah, like last that. time I went to Listerman, I went over there, and they had a release, release day. And people were lined up like six in the morning. And I was sitting there talking to the one of the bar, uh, beer tenders. And he's like, dude, they were like out here like at six in the morning. They didn't even open until 11. And like, I don't know why they were lined up, but people were like going crazy and stuff for their beer. I mean, they got a good demand for beers around them. Baby, when you see all of this hay, there's nothing but crave. But they're like, they're, they do good stuff. But you wouldn't know them unless you were really around this area. Or like where yeah. Matt, someone sent it to Matt, where Matt got it now, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, like under half when you sent under half to us. It was kind of like. Yeah, they're they're very popular, but if you can't get their stuff, you just hear little blurbs about it, but then you drink right. it and you're like, hey, I get why. <laughs> I get why they have the rep they do because the shit's great, but it's hard to get. So it's one of those things where uh, actually other half is doing another one of those releases, but not here in Buffalo and Rochester where, where Genesee is. It's like an hour and 15 minutes away from me this Saturday, but I'm not yeah. going cause it's probably going to be a shit show. Um, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, it's cool to see them kind of release stuff upstate. Yeah. Because um, you know, their stuff is all around New York city and just on the outskirts. So to see some of their stuff actually make it up here is a very nice, very nice to see. Well, good thing that's what about, like, like when you're a micro or a nano type thing, it's it's really about the beer, right? So when you become larger, then it becomes about the money. Yeah, change stuff up. That's a that, that's a good beer you got there, by the way. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it becomes about pushing the dollars. And if you're really a big macro, like an Anheuser and Bush or a man, whatever you call them, then it's about the shareholders. So they're going to push for more to make them happy. So mm -hmm. that's what with the. Uh, the two local ones here, Royal Docks and Shale, they're trying to like, like for instance, Shale just like extended their reach to West Virginia. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you haven't even like gotten most of Ohio yet. Why are you trying to go all the way to West Virginia? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And then there's, uh, what is it? Uh, and Royal Docks, which is, a, I guess a big deal for them to be, you know, uh, yeah. One of the one of the fastest growing breweries, but is that a good thing? You know what I mean. So it's yeah. like within within a, I think it was like three or four year period of them being open. Now you're all of a sudden like canning line. You're talking about I don't know how many barrel production brewery you're trying to do. You know, it's like yeah. is that really you know? But you know if they know what they're doing, then you know it's all it. it you know it is what it is. So. It's all great, then, baby. Right. I just I'm a big yeah. believer in like making a solid foundation locally, mm -hmm. and then slowly branching out. But that's just me. So yeah, I haven't had any of their beers yet, but uh, Platform's been doing a good job in the state too. Well, I can mail them all to you if I don't drink them, but nah. yeah. <laughs> just Fine. because like their bombers are expensive, but like their cans and shit is really cheap, which confuses me. Yeah, Rod Group Chat. Group chat, Rod. Group chat. What about? Just group chat. Look, just look at the group chat. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. No idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rob, Rod, check it out. LOL. <laughs> well, it was it was the original question more than anything. I don't. It's cool. Is it? <laughs> All right, all right. No guarantees, though. <laughs> That's the problem. It was like, I don't want anything all crazy. So I was kind of relaxed, kind of chill. You know, we're into the midnight hour. But yeah. So so I'll just I'll just do it like this. I'll be the bad guy. Um, Redbeard, Redbeard, I see you in the comments. You're free to join us if you act like a civil human being and don't get crazy and you're not hammered. Let me know and I'll send you the invite. If you are hammered and crazy, don't invite. Either way you look at it, just let me know. This is um, chill. Yeah, we're just chilling. There's only three of us here, so I mean, if you want to join, that's cool. But we can't have people getting fucking crazy and muted and stuff. Yeah, because one thing, like I noticed, like on some of the other shows I went on, I really don't want to push it press. Maybe that three, four, five type people. 
because it gets to be too much of a shit show, in my opinion. I, I have learned, I have learned from uh, substantial knowledge of being in a lot of Google Plus Hangouts when there's like eight to ten people. That regardless of the characters and the personalities you have in whatever Google Plus Hangout you have, when it gets to a certain number, whether that's seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, it's a shit show because there's just too many people. The delay is enough where people talk over one another. Even if everyone is there super respectful, it's just yeah. tough. So, yeah, like a, a good sweet spot's like five to six max. And when you do even have five to six, you got to make sure people are. Joe, you know, right now you're just talking way too much for me. Well, just, <laughs> you're over talking Ethan right now. Ethan, I apologize, <laughs> but I'm going to need you to leave the chat. And then, then we'll, we'll hear this. CFO. <laughs> We're just going to need you to shut your horn off. No, um, Rod, I was going to tell you that the barrel age version of that's really nice, too. Yeah. Of the Eugene. Uh, yeah, how, far are you, how far are you from Toledo? Me? Yeah. I have no idea. I couldn't he even tell no, you. I'm going to go figure it out right now. It's like that near your part. Check, check. Go CNN. Do it. I'm, I'm going to <laughs> no fake news over here, boys. Okay. I can remember if it was near where you were at or not. So he's in Canton to Toledo. Yeah. It's exactly two and a half hours. I thought you were in Akron. Right, yeah. well, Akron, I guess. Toledo. Well, I mean, it's in the vicinity, close. northeast yeah. Ohio. He's but, like he's like a half an hour from Akron. Yeah, 20 minutes. no, like twenty minutes. Yeah, maybe? like twenty minutes. Yeah, I want to say twenty. Yeah, depends on I was where. Say, I think we're going to be up right. that way. I'm driving one hundred and five, oh. like I usually do on the highway. You know who has a Usually pretty good selection um, in old, old, uh, Toledo? Because I actually stopped at a beer store there. Um, wasn't a beer store. It was, uh, it was a fucking grocery store. The Andersons. The Andersons of Toledo, Ohio had really great beer selection. The Andersons? The name the of the Andersons. store? Uh, the Andersons. It's, like, it's like Walmart, Home Depot, and like Target rolled into one. It was fucking huge. And I went to their... No, and this was, okay. So, so I went there like three years ago uh, when I went to the beer fest, and like they got in a couple three Floyd's beers, and I just passed through. This guy, oh, we got some three Floyd's, and you want it? He's like, here's fresh dreadnought and something else, and I'm like, you're a fucking grocery store. What? Yes, I will take those. But I don't yeah. and remember this was three years ago. So it was, it, I mean, it was still popular, but not like crazy. And they had all kind. They had like fresh. They had fat heads beers that like they had fat fresh. Fat had had Hunter that was like six days old, and I'm like, yes, yeah. I will take like some of this. Two days old. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'll take this. I'm like, you're a grocery store. <laughs> like, this is fantastic. It was, it was a great. Yeah. Dude, great if you experience. saw some of our, if you saw some of our gas stations, they blow you mind with some of the craft beers. Or no, that them. same thing here, man. There's fucking <laughs> gas station with a mixture six and growler stations and shit. And I'm like, why? You people are getting gas. Don't encourage them to drink the beer. Uh, yeah. So Redbeard says, and Redbeard says this. He says. I just got off work. I've not cracked a single beer yet. I'm down to be all good and stuff. Well, then I will send you the invite uh, as long as you're just saddle down. Just We're good. Saddle down. Saddle send down. Out, send to you on Facebook. I'll probably go up to Toledo in September, and I might catch up at Black Frog Brewery and see some places around there. That's racist. Come on, Red. Black Frog? Yeah. Why is it going to be Black Frog? The name of the brewery. Have you ever seen a Black Frog? Yeah. I don't know. No, actually, I, I don't. I don't know. There's all kinds of different frogs. I'm sure there's a, <laughs> is there a red frog. Is there a blue frog? I don't know. There's frogs. How ignorant do you have to be, Joe, to not assume <laughs> that there's a black frog out there? Dude, I'd imagine. Well, there's there's probably frogs that change colors. I, I don't know what frogs you're licking, but I don't. I I've don't never lick frogs, Ethan. That seems to be something that happens in Canton, Ohio. <laughs> I don't think so. I heard that that's more like buffalo. No, it's more like Beavis and Butthead to America. Okay, that was one time in college. Was it a black frog though? Or what color yeah. was it, Rod? What color was it? No, I'm discriminating against certain frogs. Okay, we gotta because give the red frog all of this love because, as we know, based on Redbeard, the ginger <laughs> frogs discriminated a little bit more than any other frog. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You'll never live that. I'll just point that out, Redbeard. If you're watching the watch, and you're never going to live that. The red frog. It's yeah. the red frog. It's like Redbeard, but it's a red frog. I see they got a Toledo Zoo Aquarium. 
What do you, what yeah. are you going there for September? Yeah. What, it, what is it just a. She needs to go up for work, and I'm going to go up there maybe and just make a beer run and hang out. See Isn't people. Mommy Bay in uh, Ohio? Mommy Bay Brewing? I think they may they, be. They're a lot of our beer festivals. Yeah, they had Total Eclipse. Their breakfast style is really good. Yeah, yeah. their breakfast style is pretty good, yeah. And then they had a Amarillo beer that I had before, too. That's pretty solid. I just remember Mommy Bay. Uh, being... I would just have to disagree with that. but Wait, you didn't like the Amarillo beer? Well, yeah. The one Ethan, I had, we all have different palettes, bro. When it's it over. first when it first when it first showed up, I didn't really. I wasn't a big fan. Ginger fucking frog, really? <laughs> I mean, it has to exist, right? Shit. Here we go. Here comes the rant. <laughs> I'm talking to Ginger Frog. We're gonna see if it shows up. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! Yo, you piece of shit. I, I do have to say, uh, there is there are definitely black frogs, red frogs, like almost every color of the spectrum. Just in the yeah. po- just in the poison dart family alone. Okay, well, red beer, that's a great thing, but you're scaring me with your knowledge of frogs right now. So we're going to need you to settle down. There's too it's much knowledge of frogs knowledge, being dropped. You know. common, so you're all you're frog calm. experts. You just need to calm this down. Is down. This is good enough. No, frog just guy. because you know the basic color spectrum of the wheel doesn't <laughs> oh make you a God, fucking God, expert. Go drink okay. a terrible homebrew and shut your whore no, mouth. I'm calling red you beer. out. I'm calling out beer patrol. I'm calling I'm them what out. What are you drinking? What are you drinking, red beer? My sister randomly went to Gravenhurst today and stopped by Sawdust City, my favorite brewery in the world, and bought me four beers. One of them, which is, this isn't my favorite by them. It's uh, the Princess Wears Girl Pants. Yeah, I've had it's that. a Muskokan saison. They they changed mm-hmm. the recipe this year a little bit from last year, so I, I was able to review it again. It's coming in at have nine. Have you ever had the barrel version? Uh, mm. No, but she got me a can of uh, the the Princess Wears Funky Pants, which is a funkified oh. version at nine point five percent. This will come. What's that coming at? Nine. It's pretty high for a saison. Yeah. Like I said, it's the oh, first one I cracked Rod, open. Didn't figure I'd start strong. Rod, you're not an albino and your name's not Chad, so please do not lecture me on the saisons for workers and they need to be like 2.3%. Please do not do this now. <laughs> I feel like you want to do it. Please do not do it. This actually smells <laughs> shockingly, shockingly fruity and like almost hoppy and vibrant. Oh, look at my BJCP manual. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me get it. Uh, the ABV is supposed to be between 2.3 and 4.7. No, I got I got, I got, I got saisons. Number nine is pretty high for a saison. No, I mean, they, ori- they originally, the farmhouse saisons were brewed for the workers to drink and to, to like. Say, uh, I got a 9% A. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You, you, know, you know that whole farming thing? I can't move. So we're done with that for today. You need to get that. Hey, kind of you, look, you look at the row. You look at the rows on the field of like the lines and the just like fucking crooked and all this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's where the good saison is. Try driving the tractor with the ninety yeah. percent saison <laughs> in your hand. There you go. I feel as though you may have done some wrong here in our field. And uh, you're supposed to not zigzag. Uh, Raz one two three or one two three. I said one two three. He's one two four. Why one two four? It should be one two three. Not Raz. He says uh, you guys into NFL draft. I am. I mean, I'm into the NFL. Uh, but Rod doesn't really watch NFL. He's more into college, so he would know more of the players than I would. But he also doesn't care about NFL. Uh, Redbeard lives in Canada, and most people in Canada don't really care about anything. That's you'd be hockey. you'd be surprised. No, I know that. I know you guys do, and you like friend, you, most Canadians like NFL more than CFL, which just blows my mind. Yeah, like my buddy Marcel, yeah, Donald Marcel and my another from Dennis, they both are like Dan Dennis is obsessed with football and basketball. Marcel mm-hmm. is obsessed with football and hockey. I like baseball, but I don't like it to the point that I am on like they're they're on fantasy teams and shit and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And I like watching a baseball game, but not to the point that like, I don't have to watch every Jays game or something like that, you know? But yeah. Yeah. The Jays are doing pretty well though. Got yeah. to a pretty good start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I follow along today. Raz, what, do you have a, I mean, being in Long Island, Jets, Giants? Probably more Jets than Giants. I don't know. You tell me. Who both play in New Jersey. They do. They do not, they're yeah. totally not New York. But they are, <laughs> but they're not. You guys have a New York name, but we're taking the tax dollars. Yeah. Well, <laughs> crazy. Oh, by the way, uh, Ethan, I saw the post. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. Huh. That's cool. Are you pumped? Yeah. Totally. You look pretty excited. Yeah, you look like maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe that's 1230 at night. I'm oh, okay. Okay. Job okay. Show. okay. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm going to back up off my nuts right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm nowhere near your nuts. Thankfully, I will. But I, if I would, I wouldn't back off them. 
Um, Raz says he uh, his hideous Jets took Sam DeNarno, the uh, quarterback. Who did you want, Raz? Because I, I mean, Bills fans, we took not and by we, I mean I'm not a Bills fan, I'm a Seahawks fan, but the Bills fans here were not uh, happy with the Josh Allen pick. They they wanted Josh Rosen or DeNarno or anybody but Josh Allen. So I'm curious to hear what you enjoyed. Allen's, I'll take oh. the for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that's therapist. <laughs> no, no, the quarterback they took is the racist. <laughs> oh, I just said the, I thought you did the whole uh, the whole celebrity Jeopardy. I'll take for well, supposedly, the, according to these reports, apparently he has these racist tendencies. He was says, not uh, a fan of the non-white people, according yeah. to his Twitter feed. Russ says he's happy with that guy. It's like you know oh, what oh, you're playing. Said, oh, so, okay, you are sweet. Yeah, <laughs> What's that? you're playing football. About seventy-five percent of the people are. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, and, that's, you're, and you're the quarterback, which is yeah, you're the team leader. It's like you probably should be in harmony with all the races. Doesn't matter what race. Like you know what? Randomly, I don't, I don't. I'm just like thinking right now. Like, are there? Uh, there must be like, but like I want to say like the uh, first like the ratio of white quarterbacks to black quarterbacks. I can't. Like I don't, I don't know any. It's... Like again, I don't know. Like, I I think like Tom Brady and like that's. Well, Probably. black 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 starting quarterbacks. You have Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You have Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. You have now uh, Tyrod Taylor for the Browns. Yeah. Uh, the, who's a kid from Clemson? Is he starting for a team? Deshaun? Yeah, Deshaun Watson for Houston. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Again, like I just, I, just, I, just, I, I don't know. Last time I watched the football. Yeah, Marcus Mariota is is he is he's is he like uh, Samoan? He's not white. Yeah, he's like Samoan. I thought he was like half black, half Samoan. Oh, like The Rock. <laughs> Listen, The Rock. The Rock is. <laughs> yeah, no, The Rock is. He's half Samoan. The Rock's half black, half Samoan. The Rock is like half Samoan and like half Sasquatch or something. That guy's fucking. That yeah, was Rocky, uh, Rocky Johnson, I think. That used to wrestle. No, he 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 is just Samoan. You're right. Samoan and white. What what's that? Rocky Johnson, yeah, was his, yeah, his father was black, yeah. and his mother was Samoan. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the, but here's who's the thing: a, who's the Philadelphia Eagles? Uh, Carson Wentz, he's as white Carson. as you can possibly get. Well, um, I'm saying, uh, well, I'm saying before that. It, well, I oh, they had Vic. They had Vic. Back in the day. McNabb back in the day, and Vic. Yeah, McNabb. Yeah, it's only yeah, about twenty. McNabb, yeah. Well, McNabb, here's the thing: McNabb. I don't know what the percentage of non-white athletes are. Um, in the NFL, in comparison to uh, white athletes, overall, but, it's like about seventy-five percent black. Really? Is it seventy-five percent black or seventy-five percent non-white? Because I feel I like it's actually. Was, see, I was always thought I was. Bleh, I always thought it seemed relatively even when, like, you look at like the just no, what you see on the field. I don't know. No, I think overall it's like seventy-five yeah, percent. Yeah. Like, you got like you got like five percent probably because Samoa, American Samoa, is the highest per capita. Um, yeah, and there's some Hispanic too. Yeah, and so there's some, yeah, and there's some Hispanics, but yeah, it's it's mostly, yeah. it's mo- yeah, it's it's predominantly black and then white and then like non-white or black. But um, it, so here's the thing though: there's seventy five. Let's say just say use the seventy five percent that Ron. Let's just say seventy five percent. When you look at the quarterbacks, I want to see a Native American like, playing on the Redskins. Fifteen, fifteen percent black quarterbacks and eighty five percent white. Right, and that's. That's kind of weird when you think of it. It shouldn't be that way. I mean, even Lamar Jackson from Louisville, um, they like so many scouts are like, he can't be a quarterback. He's gonna have to play somewhere else. I'm like, why? But it, man, they didn't put Johnny Manziel through without like. Yeah, yeah, he's basically Johnny Manziel was basically a, a black quarterback in a white body, but they gave him a first round pick, and they there's no questions about that. So why is Lamar Jackson any different? I, he's a black quarterback in a black body. Yeah, and then, oh, oh, they have questions. Oh well, his his wonder lick was a little bit lower. Uh, there's a bunch of other white quarterbacks that were like right around him, and guess what? Yeah, like, no higher That's than such him. a horrible name for a test. The wonder lick, yeah, it's it's. Fun. I'm I'm assuming. Have you guys seen the show The League? I hope so. Oh, Teddy Bridgewater was. Well, I haven't watched it in a few years though. Yeah, it's, no, it, it, it's done. It, it ended. I want to say like a year or so ago, but it it like it wasn't canceled. They actually like ended it, and mm-hmm. yeah, that's one of the. The most funny fucking Rocks, like Rocks 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 Rocks
Rafi's good too. Yeah. But like, as far as like core, core, uh, like the four guys, the Rock's taco. my favorite. The taco, come on, taco. taco. Well, taco's all right, dude. The taco's fucking yeah. the guest bongs everywhere. And stuff. Yeah, <laughs> just the random shit, and like he's always like somehow got money. Like he sold like what was it the Cowboys.com or some shit like that in the one episode, mm-hmm. and he yeah. gets fucking. It's such a good show. Raz said, yeah, Jets brought in t- Teddy Bridgewater, who was another starring quarterback for Minnesota. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater as it's well. It's just disproportionate yeah. when you talk about quarterbacks in comparison to the rest of the positions. But still, though, like I didn't, I didn't realize there was that many black quarterbacks. So that's that's for some reason I thought it was like dominated by white guys because that's just what I've seen when I've like. Well, that's why know. Warren Moon ended up in the CLL back then. Yeah, well, the back then it was a lot different because it was like you're a black quarterback, you can't run. Okay, you're not allowed. <laughs> like you're not you're not allowed to play the position. Like you're not allowed to run. You can't they didn't really it. have running quarterbacks back then. I mean, Fran Tarkin ran a lot. Randall Cunningham, right, was like the guy yeah, who was the man. But it was like Warren Moon was like, wait, you can pass the ball well and like read defenses and yeah, I go to, I go to the CFL. CFL. Over thirty thousand yards or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I just so three really, really, really cool random things happened to me today. I woke up to a message from Compass Brewing at a Timmins, Ontario. They're sending me some beer. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then and uh, then they actually they have three different beers i guess and one of them is actually brewed in collaboration with some klingon cosplay group or something that's in timmins that's so it's gross. like it's, it's called mm-hmm. high chop and it's like it's supposed to be like a klingon beer like from <laughs> star, star star trek and then uh now the who guy, verified this is a klingon beer my <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the, the guy from uh whiskey jack brewing at a Haley yeah. brewery ontario who i'm friends with on facebook i met him at a festival last year he randomly was like uh, on one of his posts, I commented something about uh, oh, about the next festival that he's going to, and he, he's like, "I'm coming! To, I'm coming your way tomorrow." And I'm like, "Bring beer!" And so he texted me, and he's bringing beer when he comes tomorrow. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna hook you up with all the stuff." And then, randomly, someone just recently commented on my latest—I think it was my latest video—and they're like, "Hey, Redbeard, can I send you a few samples from pilot batches from my yet-to-open Nano Brewery? A video re- oh. review would be awesome." Yeah. So like it in one day, three fucking random like offers for I'm blown away. Blown away. No, that's always cool. You better you better be honest though, Red Beard. Um we have one more comment from uh well, Raz, like I said, Raz Raz uh twenty four said Teddy Bridge Bridgewater and then Samson L. Mill said, Hey fellas, thanks for the late night entertainment. Uh Ooh. no worries, man. I if this is entertaining. Yeah. That's awesome. Usually we're just a bunch of fuckheads talking about, you know, beer, but it's always a good time. It's still kind of that. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's, <laughs> but good fuckheads. Like not, like, like, like not assholes, but like, you know, we're just, we just, you know, we're just talking beer. It's fun. We're, we're the best we're fuckheads. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I mean, you got, you got all, all walks of life here. Ginger, the most oppressed. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. I, I hate yeah, I hate you, but I think I think it's kind of funny that like you you just never ever gonna let it die. And at least uh, once, at least once every hangout, it has to be referenced. Fair not enough. not really more, more than that, just like once. Like when um, e- when Eric, okay, so the best thing that's ever happened last week when Eric was hammered and he was like, you're, "Yeah, you're oppressed, Redbeard." I was like, "Here, I gotta jump in here because like I have to." <laughs> like he used the word oppressed and talking about Redbeard. I'm like, "Yes, this is this is where we're going with this." Uh, and uh, I don't think Eric really understood, but uh, yeah, I don't think anybody except like Yumi and Rod. Uh, Who else was there? Somebody else was there. Was Greg. Greg. Okay. Was it Greg was Todd there too, or was it Todd? Todd was there, maybe, and Greg. They were. They yeah. were. Because it was. It was offline after hours. That, like, that after makes it that much. That makes it that much worse that Greg was there. <laughs> if we're hanging around for another half an hour, so I'm gonna go grab uh, Jenny Cream Ale because I'm gonna drink it. What is that? I, mean, I don't know. That is that an impressive beer that I should be jealous of? Yeah. <laughs> for for <laughs> no, no, it's a macro beer. Genesee. I was gonna say, beer. Yeah, I was gonna say like, it's it's a cream ale. I don't. I've never yeah. heard of any cream ale that like is. It's, it's like about a, as it's about as bad. Like, Anheuser Busch is kind of like a house name, and Genesee is kind of like Genesee's kind of along the uh, like a house name of New York State. Yeah, actually, yeah. randomly, where were you on Wednesday, Joe? How come you weren't in there for the uh, the PBR awesomeness? No, I was out. I wasn't. Yeah, I I, I, I was actually gonna. I I was think I was planning on it, but then it would have been kind of cool because that 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 would that would that would have been nine people in the panel, which was, and it actually it went 
very yeah. well for that. The only thing that it was kind of like you talk and then you sit there for like 10 minutes while he does everybody yeah. else kind of thing. It's yeah. Like yeah. Ron, and, uh, Ron, what, what you've got going on with your four people thing and occasionally letting a fifth person in you that, that, yeah. that it's like the, the good number, I think. Yeah. I, your show is <laughs> good shit, man. They're uh, Yeah. To go back to Genesee, it's just a cream ale, red beer. Just Fair enough. Um, I do like PBR though. No, I've, done, I've done a Genesee ice, but I've never done anything else that they have. See, the all we get is from the ice, unless I go to one place and I need to buy twelve bags or something. The, the cream yeah. out for me is it like you know people talk about like it. What's their one macro? You know they they want to drink macro or whatever. And cream out for me is I've drank it so many times since I was of legal not legal age, and it's it's a staple in Western New York. It is like the like popular non Bud Miller Coor Labatt beer, like it is the the one. So um, I just think it has a bit more flavor than all the rest. Obviously, being a cream ale and not an adjunct lager plays a role. But is it really a cream ale? Probably not. I don't know. They probably use corn and weird crazy ingredients that. Yeah, yeah. That's I uh, I very randomly just now noticed the Green Lantern cool little poster thing above your head, Rod. That's pretty funny. I never saw that before. I don't know how I didn't see that before. So that's getting torn down for a, what is it, 75-foot corona mirror? Is that what that is? <laughs> it's a pretty big mirror. I don't know what I'm going to – I have to take out this whole middle section. You got a corona mirror? What? What's this? What? What? Yeah. Well, gonna, let them show it to you. I'm going to read the comments real quick while you pick up that 75-pound fucking mirror. Let me see um, this shit. Rest this is like Raz says it sounds good, and he also says, guys, there should be more people joining in. Well, thank this you, is like a workout, picking up this damn thing. See? I'll be right back. And when you stand there in comparison, then you really get a great idea of how. Yeah. Can you see it? Holy crap. Yeah. The big-ass mirror I picked up today. Hey, the, the cool thing is I've actually seen, like, what I'm seeing, like, you got like, is that a laptop and a two monitor set up you got going on there? Do what? How, how are your screens set up right now? I see, I got like three, I got three monitors all running off the laptop. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, including, including the laptop monitor, but they're, they're all running off the laptop. Yeah, okay. I've got, I have two running off my PC and then my laptop over there. So I can actually do a fourth off my big screen TV if I hook it in, but I didn't feel like doing it. My old video card. I could do six. Like All if right. I had, if I had, if I had four, uh, I guess it'd be one, two, three, four, five more 70 inch TVs. Yeah. I could hook them all up into like one huge, ridiculous thing. Yeah. See, I work for the house. So it's like my workstation I set up here. No, it looks pretty cool, man. I never, I'd never seen that reflection was like an, an inner glimpse of rods setup kind of thing. It was cool. I liked it. Dude, that mirror was huge. I actually had to take the top down the convertible. Where did you, where did you, where'd you get that? Did like somebody give it to you or did you buy it or no it was a it was an auction online that we had here locally and Okay. I don't even like Corona, but I figured it's a cool <laughs> mirror. Did you get you got, I'm assuming you got a pretty good deal on it? <laughs> I said well I'll pay up to ten dollars for it. I didn't get it for eight dollars and fifty six cents. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, That's yeah. That's not how much it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, could sell it to a bar for probably seventy five or eighty if I wanted to. Easy, <laughs> easy, man. That, that's 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 a nice like it, again. It's Corona, so who really cares? But that's a nice fucking yeah. It's a nice mirror. That's what I liked about it's it. Really cool, man. So I put, I put that up in your hallway or some shit. But I, if I put it here, I got to take out. I put up. I can take that phone thing. Well, yeah, it's it's that. not it's it's not cool enough to replace all that stuff with the one yeah. mirror. I don't think. Or that's that's, that's your issue. Or I'll put it in a garage or something or beer cell or no. Wait, yeah, wait, wait. Mount it on the ceiling in that corner behind you. Then that that, <laughs> that, that could work. That could work. <laughs> that's pretty. that's like the only blank canvas you have and kind of in your space right now. That that corner behind you. I could actually take down the Mountaineer and Green Lantern stuff and kind of I think it'll fit right in this area. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I only have that. That'd be kind of high up, though. That would kind of negate the whole mirror aspect of it. You want it to be like, you know, at least at face level, like a Budweiser mirror. And uh, and Joe's seen it, but I got a Genesee uh, twelve horse ale, which is like their Christmas Christmas beer. Yes, you do. I used to have a really nice. Uh, I found it when I used to work at a bar here in North Bay, and me and another guy were tasked with cleaning out this like 
random area of the basement and I found this really old. It was like shaped like a guitar, like a Budweiser, not a neon sign, took a fluorescent tube in the back, but mm -hmm. a really cool Budweiser guitar kind of sign. And when I was moving out from the apartment I was in, I had left it down in the lobby for like 10 minutes while I went out to the car and came back and it was gone forever. Oh, wow. Yeah. I also have a light up Stroh's mirror line too. How's your Commodore Perry? Uh... That's funny you said Stroh's. I have a random Stroh. It's actually, it's been, it's in my vlogs now. It's up on the, mounted up on the beam that you see in behind me. And it's a Stroh's just says, Good beer for blah blah blah. Marcel gave it to yeah. me. Yeah, they're coming out. I was saying earlier they're coming out with an IPA, but I've never had anything by them at all. I just thought it was kind of cool yeah. to put up there. It was it was <laughs> funny when I went to pick up the mirror. There was like an older lady. She was like, "Oh, let me go get your thing for you." She goes, "Like, sir, I can't get this for you." <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, "What do you mean?" She's like, I, "You gotta come get this probably." It's what is it actually? I'm like too big, and that's why I'm back. It's all big. It was. How how uh, much do you figure it actually weighs? Oh, uh, this is probably probably about thirty pounds or something. Thirty thirty five. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's got good wood around it. It's not terrible. You want to make sure you anchor that reasonably well when you mount it. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was, it was, I didn't know it was that big. I didn't take the measurement. I figured it'd be something like my Sierra Nevada mirror I got up in the wall back yeah. there. Yeah. It's like it's like four of those. Yeah. <laughs> I, also have, I also have a Trobe's uh, neon beer sign. From That's Pennsylvania, cool. yeah, yeah, I got that, but it was busted, so I'm fixing it to repair it. I got to put a new uh, transformer on it, but it shouldn't, you know, if I just put a, if they're pretty, I mean, they're like seventy bucks to buy online, but you could just splice it and then hook it right up, so it should be fine. That's the brewery I wouldn't mind drinking some more of their beers. I actually did a piece on them when I met them well, a couple years ago. Trogues uh, on the blog, Trogues, yeah, yeah, they do good stuff. Yeah, they uh, they're the place. Uh, one of the places I go to to shop for beer. They they're really heavy in a lot of their stuff, like some rares and you know some common. What you eating, Joe? Um, rolled gold thin ship, red hot flavor. Flaming hot. Really, really. Flaming like hot rolled gold, like put pretzel chips. Fuck, they're like little, yeah, thin pretzel chips. That's a whole like that, that's like four different weird things at once. That's crazy. and you know what? It pairs perfectly with this Genesee cream ale, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Dogs, but it's just Genesee cream ale. Baby. They actually sound good. Actually, it's, it's funny because I went to the before I was on here. I was at work doing the hood fan at one of the grocery stores here in town. And they had this big display by the door that I kept going in and out for not that, but some other brand of pretzel thin chip things. So it's kind of funny. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Lee shows up and Lee says, holy fuck, is this still thing still going? Well, this is the after show, Lee. We finished the actual whatever official beer flow show. So the after yeah. show of after shows. This has only been going for like an hour. Yeah. We've been just chatting about... Uh, seventy-five thousand pound uh, mirrors of Corona, and how long did the actual uh, beer flow show go tonight? Uh, two hours, maybe. Oh, so that's not like yeah. So we usually don't go. Usually, well, yeah, two hours is. I've like, seen it right now. It's uh, an hour fifty-six and nine seconds. So you're yeah, we, if we start at eight forty-five, we're usually done by like ten thirty, typically quarter to eleven. Tonight we started a little bit after, so we randomly it's kind of funny uh the, i guess uh chad was streaming tonight doing a bdu and that went for one hour 59 and 21 seconds he, he uh, competed with us he competed <laughs> he, with us he beat you by like 11 12 seconds that's pretty funny see i was i was gonna join that but like i just find myself with a bunch of canadians talking about canadian beer and i have no fucking clue <laughs> well, that's, that's 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 what? why that, that's why i'm completely okay with not <laughs> really being you know it's, like, it's not so much i mean it's great you know, talking content, but other than when it comes to beer, it's like I just I don't really I I, I can't. It's mm -hmm. it's nice it's nice when those chats happen and it's like half and half kind of guys from the states and guys from Canada, so we can talk about yeah. differences and stuff. But yeah, I mean, being like, the odd like, like, guy, like, yeah, it can be kind of weird. Or if you I get like the, the guy on the border that knows everything from both sides, <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at you. Oh, you do. <laughs> I don't know anything at all. So yeah, just keep so stuff special. in your face. I'm gonna eat these fucking rolled gold. <laughs> 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 How spicy are they actually? Are they like, yeah, they're like, have you ever had flaming hot Cheetos? Kind of in that. 
range from those. They're flaming hot, probably not very hot. No, yeah, they're just, they just have a little bit of spice and that's it. But they go oh, good with the Genesee Cream Ale. There's a I company, uh, sorry, go ahead. Ghost Chili Chips, and they were pretty hot. I was going to say, there's a company, uh, Blair's, they make like a bunch of, if you watch the show Hot Ones, oh, yeah. they, make, they make the Mega Death Sauce, they're one of the hottest ones there. Are you talking about the hot, the chips they make? They make the Death Wish chips. Yeah. And yeah. they're like, the one I, the, the hottest one I had, I think, was their Habanero ones. And yeah. they burn your face off, but they're at the same time, they're so good, you can't stop eating them. So like, by Chad, the end, it hurts. I reviewed them at Chad's about five years ago on his channel. They're on his channel, him and I. And I picked them up at like a 7-Eleven, and they were the habanero ones. And the same thing was like, I, I instantly got hiccups, and I was like, these are super hot. But I was like, these are so fucking good. So I don't really care. Yeah, I'm, just good. Good. I'm looking for that right now. Um, that's like um, that's like Dave sauce, the commercial yeah. hot sauce. Like it's good, but it's not like. I mean, it's like right, fucking hot. With flavor, but it's really good. good flavor. That's what it comes down to me. When yeah. Hot sauce or hot um, things. Was it Actually, just was it just you and him, or was there a few of you guys? There's a bunch of them. A bunch of them here. I have no idea, but I'm 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 average Joe. <laughs> you should be able to see me. I don't know. Um, Lee says same thing. Joe, shut your mouth. I apologize, Lee. Um, and then he also says his show was terrible anyway, in reference to the Albino Rhino Law. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch it because he was competing with us. No, I, whatever. I just noticed actually when we um when we started uh, when Rod started his show, Chad started his. There was another guy, Craft Beer Pours, had his. Junior's Beer Reviews had his, and then Tyler Mankel was doing the live show. There was like five live streams of the people that. I follow our friends with or whatever. And I was like, holy shit, there's a lot of live streams going on right now. <laughs> what do you expect? It's like it's like TV, you know? It's like competitive shows. If, mm -hmm. if I if I had been home, yeah. I might have been streaming on Twitch as well. But, you know. Whose cuisine will reign supreme? Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Stay <laughs> tuned next to see what happens. Bow, 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 bow. Would you um <laughs> I, I, I got I got some new records on my Twitch stream the last time I streamed. I I got the maximum myself, I think uh seven viewers and like 15 new viewers and it's still i'm still very 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 tiny. how many how many subscribers or followers do you have on twitch so i have six right now what yeah. the fuck come on redbeard step up your game buddy i think i only have four but i haven't done it in a while it's it's like there's so many people like big established people that it's oh, yeah. hard to get out like i have i have a buddy that lives here he was actually a guest in one of my more recent vlogs on uh, my buddy john and he's got, I think, uh, a few thousand. And he's at the point now where, like, he's actually making a, a little bit of decent money off it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he he seems to think that I will surpass him because I'm way more entertaining than he is. According well, you to also him. have you're also a ginger, and like the, they don't exist too much across the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. we are. We are uh, the, there was some fucking stupid thing going around recently. Well, not recently, a while back. Probably still going around about how like gingers are going extinct. Which is not true at all. <laughs> well, of course not. I mean, you're clearly here. Although, um, well, I'm 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 not in any kind of uh, position to pass on or help the ginger. Not yet, anyway. I do have uh, my my sister Krista had a child named Starling. She's not ginger, but my other sister Erin is pregnant right now with a boy. So maybe, and actually, her boyfriend or her fiance, sorry, is not ginger, but like kind of a daywalker kind of thing going on. Jesus. The, the, no. the red, red, North, reddish, reddish hair with no freckles. Did you see the yeah. South Park episode? Yeah, listen, I did. North Bay seems like the South Park episode. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> they gotta, they Lee gotta, says... Okay. They're, they're in Perry Sound. So. Yeah. <laughs> Lee says, I watched the new Avengers movie tonight. Lots of death. And then he continues with, all the male gingers can die out. Just save the ladies. Because <laughs> he likes to... You know what? Yeah, I'm... I'm I, I, Yo, I, there's ginger ladies are... I'm dying. That, thank you for not saying like all male gingers kill themselves. Uh, I will. I will die out eventually, and then yeah. You know. As long as you don't spread your seed, and yeah, exactly. No other gingers. Do I, I will say. Themselves. I will say. I saw the new Venom trailer, and now I might actually consider watching it. The oh fucking only, God damn that trailer. Only I only because I was just nervous about how it was going to go about, and every time they say they say sim, symbiote. In that trailer, I wanted to smash something. Symbiote. Yeah. It's called symbiote. And like, like, just the whole, the whole like reason for Venom being a thing is that 
He was bonded with Peter Parker and Peter got rid of it. So it has a hatred for Peter and Eddie Brock also had that hatred. Like they kind of like Spider-Man three, aside from all the fucking horribleness that was, uh, I can't even think of his name right now. Who Toby played Maguire. fucking Venom? To Topher Grace. Topher Grace. Thank you. Yes. Like, uh, oh, Tom, Tom, Thomas Hayden church was like the perfect Sandman. I'll give him that. That was with, like Spider-Man 2, Alfred Bellina played a great oh, Doc Ock. Number one, uh, Willem Dafoe played a great Green Goblin. Those movies did have that going, but the, the whole Venom thing, there was like if the new if the new movie, the look of him at the end, where like they show him and he like comes all up and the tongue is coming out, that part yeah. of the trailer was like, oh my god, that looks amazing. But yeah, that's what a that's lot what of saying. like the whole like the reason the symbiote even uses like the whole like the stuff going out and hitting guys and stuff. That's all because he was bonded with Spider-Man and even like the spider on his chest is because right. he wants to be like Spider-Man. Like he, when he was with Spider-Man, he was like, that was like the perfect symbiosis for the well, symbiote, that's why, like, but Spider-Man wasn't okay with it. That's why that and like, like I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit, sit here and say that, you know, I know a lot about, Spider-Man and Venom. I'm and a Carnage pretty ridiculous all those, Spider -Man only, be, only because I've only seen I've, my extent of knowledge is from the cartoon show and from the uh, and I, I haven't really read a lot of comics in that. Do you like the, the good badass like old school cartoon show? Yeah, like the YTV and then, one, and then the newer one. I watch both, but <laughs> they, but they, but um, but no, I I like the fact that they use the word anti-hero in the trailer and not so much a no. villain. Yep. Because yeah, because that's, that's kind of like how it was. Well, in the you know, beginning, it was kind of like, kind of like the necessary evil type. In know, in the beginning, character. when he first bonded with Eddie Brock, he was straight up. He was a he was a villain. He was not any right. kind of like he'd still occasionally like stop crimes and stuff but he'd like kill the people he fucking like he's like oh you, you would mug somebody yeah i'm gonna rip your face off well, like, that's why, was, yeah that's why when i say villain that's more of like seeking out to do harm and anti-hero is more like for your own like, self-gain but also they, to be like you know there has been some kind of talk of possibly hey, Rob, you know spider-man <laughs> spider-man being in there <laughs> But, no, I'm listening. Yeah, actually, no, what, what, no. What Lisa, yeah. What, actually, I'm agreeing with Lee right here for sure. Uh, that Venom movie, it just it, it's a it's a it's a decent idea, but I think it's going to be executed badly. That's kind. Of, and then he says, uh, sort of third Spider-Man was about three movies jammed into one. Yeah, like yeah. the new like green, the new stopped. Green Goblin, which was just you like fucking, James, Frank, James, James Franco. James Franco. James Franco. I have no idea where we're at right now. Uh, <laughs> I'll be flaming hot red gold thin Chris thing. <laughs> I know Avengers came out tonight. <laughs> yeah, like actually I'm pretty jealous that Lee went. People want to go see that, so my friends. I I want to see that really, really I'll, bad. I'll wait like a week or two to I'll see. Boycotting. Like, oh, I, 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 mean, I, I, I always wait at least a week and then I'll go on like a Sunday in the afternoon. So there's like I go to work week, like when people are at work. So it's like, yeah. We're out of group chat. Rob group chat, group <laughs> chat, Rob. Yeah, well, I know I'll you're probably, usually. I'll, I'll probably end it a little bit because I don't know when the squirrel guy's coming tomorrow. Oh, Jesus Christ, squirrel guy! Or a squirrel's in the attic, possibly. Fucking squirrel guy, Rob. There's a tiny little question in the side chat. That's what oh, Joe. Yeah, are you Joe open? asked. What Joe was just asking me. I'm probably going to end no, it. That's right what I'm now. saying. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if you could just acknowledge that and give him an answer. Who <laughs> did? Just told Joe. <laughs> he's ending it. He's fucking ending it soon. <laughs> I mean, you can bring him in. You can, and then if you guys want to go on after, lately, I'm begging you right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of person in that regard you are, but please don't put spoilers in the chat. As far as that, do it, Lee. Fucking like, do it right now. Just live. Lee, if you want to tell Lee not to do something, is like telling Lee to do something. Yeah, Lee, <laughs> well, no, I gotta do like. I, Lee, wanna... I, I won't do that. I fucking I refuse. Like people will be like, "What happened?" What? And I'm like, "Watch it." Like I don't. Uh, spoil and... it. Spoil it, please. I want to. <laughs> okay, so Lee, if you want to join, I'll, I'll send you the link. If you don't, that's cool. But uh, Rod's gonna end it very shortly, so we'll go offline. So. Thank you, Lee. Whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to do, Lee. No, Lee, the comment he made. He said it's oh. too good to ruin. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm I'm Lee is sending me a beer mail. It'll be the first ever beer mail unboxing on my channel, and it's gonna be terrible. So watch how, out. How how is he getting that to you? 
uh, via the mail. <laughs> no, but like it, it, it's gonna make it. Like it's gonna make it to you. Uh, I don't know. We'll find <laughs> out. Like I, you Lee and I, have words back. <laughs> I sent. I sent. I, I sent Lee back in 2012 and 13. I sent him a uh, pretty huge beer mails to him, and uh, I did it through customs, and it, he got both of them. And then I sent him a bunch of beer also via Chad back then. And Lee also returned the favor with a beer mail, a couple of beer mails, one directly to me that made it here. And then a couple through Chad that I picked up. But um, so of the entire beer mails that we did, I sent two via customs. He sent one and knock on fucking all kinds of wood. My fucking just all of it that it uh, they worked out. Now, I don't know with like the crazy bombings in Texas and stuff. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'd imagine it'll be OK. Uh, so if it makes it here. I'm super excited, and him and I are going to do a couple live reviews on my channel first. I, I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm doing with the live stuff, so someone will teach me, hopefully. Well, Lee said to uh, link him up. Okay, I'm gonna uh, link him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link him. Link. Here it comes. Fucking squirrel guy. What time is the squirrel guy supposed to be there, son? I'm not supposed to call me in the morning. I was supposed to be working, and that's how I take the day off. So I don't. I'll probably call first thing in the morning now. Yeah, you gotta fucking, you gotta tell work the squirrel guys coming. There's fucking, there's babies, baby squirrels in my attic. Like I fucking can't deal with this. This is bullshit. I was supposed to work at one o'clock tomorrow, a nice easy job, and then be done until Sunday. But there's apparently a restaurant that's opening up in town. They want to open up on Saturday, so they called us today. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so after the job I have at 1 o'clock tomorrow, I get to go and do a, another job that's not going to be nearly as small. And goddamn stupid everything. Hello, Lee. What's happening, Lee? How today, today I drove for six hours, like three hours. I'm attached to one place I was talking about yesterday. Actually, you were door surgery, Joe. But uh, that would have been Tuesday night now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, three hours there to work for one hour and drive three hours back. So six hours per trip for a one hour job. And I had to leave at four thirty this Speaking morning. Speaking as a Polish man, that is very Polish of you. That's a hell of a commute. Yeah, yeah that seems very you. Yeah, that's on you, but also very dumb. Also, I would probably it's tell like my boss what the fuck. Hey, hey Joe. I, get, I, I get paid for it, so What's it's up? all good. What's What's up? Up? Your, finger, your fingers, Joe. Your fingers, yeah, they're a little bit kind of yeah, they're bugging yeah. me right now. Yeah, also, need, uh, you need to do mm, something about that. Mm. You want me to like um Okay. Yeah, fingers look like they just been in a like you know they broke yeah, a hymen or something. <laughs> whoa. whoa, whoa! I'm gonna go back in here to get more. Uh, I don't have a napkin down here. I, I mean, you know, we, we ain't we ain't Bill Cosby in around here or nothing. No, I mean, that, you know, about that. It, it's it's purely on the up and up and all that shit. But you know, so what's the word on him? Like, what is what is he looking at? I didn't even see what is. He uh, apparently, it's uh, it's three counts. He was convicted. Uh, like, well, found guilty on all three, and he can face a maximum of ten for each. But people are assuming he's like if they, if you give him even ten, it's basically a life so sentence, like eighty it. now or something. The the appeal, appeal. Like, what? Yeah. Does he get pudding pops if he goes to jail? That's the question. Yeah, the pudding pops. Do they even make pudding pops anymore? I don't think so. I haven't seen or heard. I, I, I don't think I ever even. If they did, they never even made it here. I don't think. Yeah, I hate to say this, but pudding pops are pretty good. They were. He'll be. Good. He'll be the. Uh, he'll, 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 like a, the pudding? The puddings put in like a four little thing called the snack pack. They <laughs> make those, but even bigger now, Rod. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now he's 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 gonna go to like if, if he actually spends any time in jail, it'll be one of those fucking cushy fucking minimum security things for. Yeah. Yeah, he's oh, for sure. Well, yeah, he's yeah, he's like he's like he's basically blind now and all this crazy shit. Well, he's like eighty something. Like well, apparently, apparently yeah. when the verdict came down, though, he like. Something happened, and he stood up and like called the one guy an asshole or something like that, which would have been well, interesting. Well, there was a tirade when they came back with guilty. He had in the court. Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, other random news. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, Golden State Killer was caught after like yeah, so, yeah. 40 years or something. It's like some 70-year-old man that – He's a former uh, police officer. Yeah, and he had killed I like – never figure out why the evidence kept disappearing. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, it's weird. What are the chances of a fucking white police officer actually being con convicted of something bad in America? Oh. That's so weird. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't happen much in the U.S., Lee. Yeah, that's, yeah, no. yeah, that's, 
that, that, that's, 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 a, that's a valid point, but it's sad that that's a valid point. <laughs> it's, it's great that they caught him. I mean, fucking 12, 12 confirmed deaths and at least over 50 rapes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like that, that, that whole uh, the, the black the black guy that fucking stopped the Waffle House shooter guy and that Trump hasn't that that nothing like no congratulations to the it's that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, he's just come back. What could, and he called. Did anybody see the whole thing about him calling into Fox and Friends today? Like, I watched the Philip Franco show and he had a bit of the uh, thing on it. And yeah, he's just a crazy, crazy, crazy individual that's somehow in charge of like the most powerful country in the world. Yeah, he's an he's an inept buffoon. What can you say? <laughs> what is uh, the Waffle House yeah. should have named uh, the very kind of meal after that? After that dude. Yes, yeah. that'd be cool. Well, apparently he started to Wait, go. Did farming. I come back? We're talking about Donald Trump and Waffle House shooting. Is that what just happened? Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just what happened. Oh, the, okay, guy yeah. that, the guy, the guy that stopped, I left for literally thirty seconds. But that's <laughs> the guy that stopped the shooting did set up a uh, GoFundMe for like not for him but for the actual victims, and it apparently got a bunch of money. It's like that uh, the humble hockey team that uh, had the bus accident here. Mm-hmm. That was a sad thing. The, the, the GoFundMe for one. them. Hit like I don't even know what it hit before. It's if it's even going. It was at like millions of dollars. I think it hit like twenty. I think it was twenty million or something Fucking like that. Crazy, but yeah, that was. Well, I've I've always wondered that. Like all year round, the NHL, the NFL, the NBA, the MLB, all the there's so many teams constantly going here and there and here and there and here and there. It's like eventually we're we're gonna lose a team. Like just and. Well, it's, Marshall, right? Marshall, uh, the Marshall, um, what was it? The yeah, football Marshall, team. Marshall, mm-hmm. Marshall University, yeah. 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 They they yeah. yeah. Wasn't there like a, everybody. something? There was uh, also yeah. another one from uh, Russia or something, I want to say. Oh, the, like K- a, the KHL hockey team. That Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, but there was another one here in the last two that was a college team, like Texas or somewhere. It's amazing because, I mean, I, they talk about, you know, planes being safer than cars, which in theory they are, and in, I guess statistically they are. But it's like one of those things where, like, in a car, not everyone's just going to be gone most of the time. So, well, you see, and there's you see, a lot more cars than there are planes. So. Yeah, there are. Uh, but, you, I mean, that's how far technology has come where, like, yeah, it's, it's almost not a concern anymore. Hey, if you get lucky and you crash in, like, the Andes or something, you might survive. You just have to eat a couple of people on the plane. Yeah, it'll yeah. be good. Yep. And then they make a movie about you, and everyone watches That's it. Sad. Good times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you with this side, medium? <laughs> <laughs> so like, what does he? What does uh, Sam Jackson say in uh, Deep Blue Sea? Where he's like, we told him the snow got him. <laughs> Did uh, yeah. Have you guys seen the preview for that new one, uh, The Meg? Yeah, I Jason Statham. Oh no, no, they, they're coming out the second Deep Blue Sea. They are, they yeah. actually, you know, they should have. Yeah. Like, the, 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 the Meg movie kind of looks like like Deep Blue Sea, the sequel. It's yeah. like they, find, they find a Megalodon, which is just. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I've, I've seen the shot. Yeah. I feel like Ethan is the lone guy that wants a sequel to the Deep Blue Sea. Well, I'm no, like, I'm just wasn't saying, LL Cool J in that? Wasn't yeah, LL man. He, he was the black guy that so lived in that movie, man. He lived. He made all kinds of references. Like, I'm the black guy. I'm going to die. I a name, damn it. Yeah, he was he was the guy who should have died in that film. But said, <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson ran well. Oh, that was, was good. No, I killed a cook. I'm yeah. I'm so tired of fucking rappers showing up in horror movies. There was a little trend in the '90s or whatever of that sort of happening. Like you, you had fucking uh, Busta Rhymes and the Busta fucking. Busta Rhymes. Yeah, Busta Rhymes. Yeah, Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. DMX. DMX was in some movie with Steven Seagal. I remember that bullshit. I mean, who doesn't want to watch DMX and Steven Seagal? Have you ever seen? Have you, Have you ever seen uh, Sharknado? Was that two? Big Marquee was, was, Mar- was in that. There's a new movie coming out like now with like Fifty Cent or something. I can't recall the name, but I saw the yeah, show. He has like Band a, of he Thieves. Has, he has a show on. Uh, I don't know about a horror Stars, movie. Though. I think Fifty Cent does. I don't. He's, he's, a, he's a better. He's a better actor than he is a rapper, and he's also. A I actually watch a lot of his movies. But... Uh, speaking of shows, though, anybody watch the Westworld premiere? I haven't seen that yet. No. I did. It was pretty good. I've, I never I seen was. any Westworld. I have it downloaded. Are you seriously? Lee, are you serious? Like the I think you'd enjoy it. I think you'd dig it. I don't know. Is it on Netflix? I've never seen it. HBO. Oh, no, it's HBO, but you should be able to oh. find it somewhere. Come on. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, um, it I, um, it's better. Yeah, my, my, my favorite show is Happen Leonard. That's pretty much the only Wait, which show ever. which one? Happen Leonard. I've never heard of that. I've heard of that one. 
It's it's a it's a crime uh, series set in like the deep south. It's based on uh, Joe Lansdale's books, and it's uh, basically uh, Happis is is this sort of white redneck dude, and and Leonard is is his black gay friend, and yeah. they just they just get into all kinds of fucking uh, crazy ass uh, crime Here, situations and shit. Here's a Vox.com, like one of the first things it says. Happen Leonard is one of TV's best kept secrets. It is. Ooh, it's nice. great show. Check it out. It's on Sundance. Uh, I'd imagine there's, there's the, three, uh, there, there, there are three seasons. Uh, six done episodes already. too, and that's all six yeah, episodes. And, and they, and they, and they each season covers a novel. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's based on. So I'll yeah. check it out. Did anybody like, watch uh, the Netflix Lemony Snicket's uh, series of unfortunate events? No. So it was no. Mm -hmm. It, 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 it's decent, but the second season, I just watched it, it came out, and uh, there's some parts that, like, you have to suspend some disbelief, obviously, because of the show, but there's a few parts where it's just, like, I, I don't even, I can't, I, I can't even think of anything to compare it to for, like, the level of, like, just insane non-believability that you see in some things. It just, it's... I. I will say I will still say this though, Rebbe, where you're like you got to suspend some disbelief. Any movie or TV show, you got to to a certain well, extent. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 those people that like shit on people who watch wrestling. They're like, oh, how do you watch wrestling? How the fuck do you watch a movie? It's the same fucking thing. Yeah, for it sure, literally is the same thing. It's just like wrestling's <laughs> fake, but those guys, you cannot say they're yeah, athletes. Well, they're well, you fucking... can't. You can't. You can't even. <laughs> I disagree with the term fake. It's predetermined. Well, sorry, no, I say yes. It's it's it's, it's predetermined. It's, you know who's going to win. They book it's it. Staged. It's yeah, it's staged. It's staged. It's, it's, staged. Not, it's not fake. But, I'll give you that. Oh, some stuff's not fake. Yeah. Undertaker giving somebody the tombstone. He's not giving yeah, them an actual goes, fucking pile driver. No, no, it doesn't no. hit. It. It's, but it's one of those yeah. things where it's if they tell a good story, it's no different yeah. than a movie or a TV show. It's just they're wrestling. No, well, again, if, like, if it's if it's done well, it sucks you right in. Yeah, it's the exact same thing as movie. So when people are like, oh, fucking, how do you watch that shit? I'm like, oh, how do you watch The Avengers? Oh, well, it's a comic book that's trying to movie, you dumb fuck. It's yeah. the exact and same I, thing. I, I want to choke you. And I mean, I if. I choke you until you bleed. And, All right, sorry. And if you if you want to make the argument that fucking wrestling is low class and shit like that, I I, I just ask all those fucking yahoos who love those Transformer movies, how the fuck do you watch that shit? You well, stupid. Yeah, yeah, those are. Those wanna, are listen, uh, I'm not gonna uh, say I watched uh, every single Transformer movie because I have, and they're all terrible except for the first one. Every single one of them after that is. Oh, fucking so uh, I completely agree with and that. The first one is not even I, good. It's just tolerable. I, have, like, I, haven't okay. seen, I haven't seen the newest one because I watched oh, the, no. the the one before that one, and like <laughs> I, I just. Marky Mark Can't showed up. I was done. As soon as Marky Mark showed up, like, the, 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 the sword, like, the sword gun, the sword gun yeah. was like, what the? Fuck? Dude, I was like, Marky Mark's if, here. You want this twenty million dollars? Like, I'm checking out. Yeah. Yeah. Else, how, much you, any... how much money? Can... <laughs> Sorry. Well, what's any... I was just, I was just gonna say, how much money can you blow in a movie? Let's watch yeah. the new uh, Transformers. That's you know, literally... just Mark Wahlberg. Oh, he wants thirty million dollars. That's cool. Just give it to him because he's Mark. What's Wahlberg. a Transformer? Say hello to your mother for me. Anybody else? Say hi to your mother the, uh, for me. Anybody else see the Andre the Giant documentary that came out? Oh, yeah, it was good. Have you watched it yet, Lee? Yeah, yeah, it was really? all right. You know, it, it was, was, it was more depressing than I than I like anticipated. Like it, I didn't, I just yeah. made it a little sad, but it was like a little bit way. Yeah, sad. no, he he had he had a really sad life. He really he did. did. Well, like just like the fact that like he had a lot of opportunities to maybe like you know be in in less pain, fix some, and he just, he refused like all the help he was given and. Yeah, he could have. He could have had he the could've. surgery to he stop him from big He could have big shot. But, but just basically. like everything, though, like the way that, like, it was so like he saw, like he was stronger than all of us. Like then Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair and them talking about him and shit, and just like he was like he like it was, again the whole, again the whole fake thing. If you were like the kind of wrestler who was all like cocky and thought you're better than shit, you got in the room with Andre the Giant, and he would literally put you in your place like the one guy who's like running out of the ring being like he's gonna kill me he's gonna kill me because he was actually Big getting his ass stuff. kicked like <laughs> that's fucking crazy i will say there's no spoilers for rod but the worst part about that documentary was hulk hogan's face and him telling stories that were probably very untrue oh and yeah he being disingenuous no, hulk hogan is just hulk hogan is disingenuous? Oh, yeah never <laughs> never. <laughs> never never listen brother 
Listen, I, th this is this is the night that Andre passed the, tor the torch to my brother, and it's not like, the guy that oh. played Thunderlips. And Ron, and Ron, just to and point my brother, out. if he if he didn't want me to walk out of there, he could have stopped my brother. But he yeah. he passed the <laughs> torch to me, that my brother, and and he died three months after I beat him, my brother. No, yeah. he died like ten years later. I'm at, the, oh, the, the funny thing, I coined the phrase: he, "There's a little I, racism in all of us, Ron." Right? I don't, I don't think Hogan, Hogan circa 2015. Did. You piece of I don't thing. think he did his brother thing like that in the interview. Uh, he's no. done interviews where he has he done has. that. No, yeah, but I think I was jumped on, you're saying that. And I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, I think this is one of the few where like, he was actually like, like was, I, 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 I know parts with him were actually like kind of like very kind of subdued they, and like kind of they rained, they rained well, 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 well done, well, well done, basically. And but even any, so any done. story, any story he told, I didn't really feel the that. The thing is, though, Red Bear, it's like, if you, I like, I like Hulk Hogan, our best friend. Oh, but if you've seen any Hulk Hogan interviews or know the type of person he is and everything, when you see those interviews, you know he's BSing. You can, you know, when Hulk Hogan's BSing and he's exaggerating. So for someone who maybe doesn't watch a lot of his stuff, like he, like, like Lisa, they reel him in. He was a little bit more uh, human. But at the same point, you know, the man is fucking lying his balls off in that. And you're just like, as someone who's, very judgmental of Hulk Hogan because you should be because he's Hulk Hogan. He's a piece of shit. Um, you, you see him and you're just like, yeah, I, I bet you 10% of what he says happened and the other 90% yeah. total bullshit. I can't believe this, man. <laughs> and, but like Ric Flair, I believe. Ric Flair, <laughs> no fucks given. He's like saying all the stuff that happened. Like 105 um, beers or whatever when he fucking said that. Like that, that's, that's insane, yeah. man. I don't know if that's real or whatnot, but I wouldn't be surprised. The man drinks well, like the, he, he, was, he was pretty, fucking... Uh, Andre the Giant was fucking huge. Like one beer to him would be like, I don't know, like a, a teaspoon of beer to us, kind of thing. I'd imagine. I'd, I'd I'd believe it over the stretch of a day or something like that. But yeah, uh, oh like, yeah, no, you know, not like within a, a few hours, hours not happening. Nah. Well, but the yeah, best the best part of the stories is when they're like, you, you, someone's like, I did, you know, I came down the next morning, and he was still asleep on like the the bar, the bar of the hotel on the floor, and like it was like, yeah, yeah I can yeah. see that, you can totally yeah, see yeah. that. But yeah, yeah, like, uh, uh, we can't move this guy. guy. <laughs> say say what you want about Ric Flair, he doesn't, he, he generally doesn't fabricate fucking stories because no, he he, he's he's so fucking honest about what a piece of shit he was and during yeah. his life. It's like, well, like yeah, the, I, the, I, I married tons of women and. Uh, I I wasn't a good husband. I just I, I was thirty for thirty special. I haven't yeah, seen no. that and I can't find it. Oh, I the thirty for thirty special is so so great because I'm, like, I'm looking for it right now again. Opens I just up if like like I read, no one's seen the thirty for thirty. Like he opens it, and Rick Fire's basically like, yeah, I was a piece of shit. Like like we were saying, I was a piece of shit husband. Yeah. Like, I was faithful for like a day. Ton of cocaine, yeah. All right. Why? It's like whatever. I did, I did all the bad things in life. Like that was my yeah. character, but like I kind of lived it. And, and he owns up to it, which is cool because so many people would be like, "No, I didn't." He does. He's like, "I wasn't a good person, or I wasn't a good husband, or whatever." I fucking lived I the character that I, I played. That's what I did. You can, he you, can kinda, you, you can kind of see in like interviews and stuff with him. It, like it, it legit bothers him when. When uh, his contemporaries die and stuff like that, like oh, yeah. you, you got to get the sense that he he feels like he's losing his entire world and and his kids too. I feel he's yeah. one of the few that I believe that he regrets like not being there for uh, all of his kids when he was you know on top of the world. But you know that that profession, you're on the road for 250, 300 days a year. So you know it's like anything else, you're not there, man. Yeah, this is a hell of a thing in that documentary when like they're asking. Everybody about like their you know, no you know, re reactions. No so, no the, the, the whole the whole no cry like no crying and wrestling thing, and even Vince McMahon yeah. in that part, it was it was quite. It's 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 like it's kind of it's a kind I will of say, emotion. It's I will well say done. this. I will say this about it again. No spoilers, but I think Vince was actually believable in that because I feel Vince probably had a pretty good relationship with him, and it mm -hmm. really resonated with me when he said that like he couldn't remember the last time you know that he talked to him or whatever, and. You know who spoiled shit? Yeah, shit, fuck. But whatever. You, you'll you watch it, Rod, and you'll love it. Um, but it's one yeah. of those things where it's just like you look at Hulk Hogan, you look at Vince. Even though Vince is a lot of things, like in that moment, I believe how he felt and how he said was exactly how it went down. Like I don't feel he bullshitted. Where Hulk, I don't believe anything. But no, he, Rod, he, you need to get on a ball. You need to get on a right now. Rod, get on right now. Watch him right now. <laughs> fuck the squirrel. Fuck the squirrel guy. You, you watch Roger yeah. the Giant. But by, by the way, by the way, Avenger, Avenger spoilers: a lot of people died. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are dead. 
if they stick to the comic, you should know who actually starts getting taken out. So uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with the comic, but a lot of people die. Yeah, a lot of people die. <laughs> They're all dead. That's, that's the good part of Infinity War. It, it really, it, I'll, I'll put it this way: it really is the Empire Strikes Back of the Avengers. Well, it's like all, right. all these comics that have happy endings; they get old and tired. So yeah, like there, there's no happy ending in this one. I'll give you that. Like when you watch Captain America: Civil War, they changed it from the comic, and it was like, really, you're going to end it like that? Yeah. That's the thing. There are a lot of comics don't end happy. Like it's the opposite. Like a lot of comics and like actual comic books are yeah. not always yeah. happy. There's a lot really of 156 issues to get to the happy part. Yeah, yeah. I was like the Punisher because <laughs> you know that's the you watch the yeah. Because because yeah. com- comic books are like soap operas. They string you along. They they mm-hmm. drag out the fucking story for three years before you fucking get to the end of it. Yeah, and then be like so happy, and then all of a sudden her head gets blown off. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll say it was good. Like there, some some of the Marvel movies have been kind of you know they've had their moments where they're just like really crap and they're boring and shit. Nothing in this was bad. Like everything was like it was all killer, no filler kind of a film, and it was like, and it's like almost two and a half hours, and it's like everything was good. Everything I heard, was I heard, so, I heard, so no like slowdowns or anything that was kind wrote of wrote a lot of checks yeah. for that movie. Well, oh, and isn't it there. like it's, it's an Infinity War like part one of two? But I from what yeah. I heard, they, they made it basically be like its own thing. Like there's no real, not any huge cliffhanger from what I heard. But again, please don't spoil shit. Oh no! It, it, is a, it is a cliffhanger. <laughs> oh, 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 I'll, I'll say that there is a cliffhanger. Spoil yeah. it. Tell me. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it. Tell me it, the no. secret. Hey, Lee's, Lee's an asshole. A soft no. proclaimed asshole, but he's not that much of an asshole. Come on. Yeah, because I know there's some other character. There's some other characters supposed to tie into it from a certain other series at a point as well upcoming. Like I'm, I'm, I am fucking so stoked to see. Like, and then actually, I watched like one spoiler-free like review that well, one of the people I watched did. Uh, I would actually, it's randomly, uh, who's it? Andre the Black Black Nerd Comedy. He's fucking hilarious. You never seen him. Check him out. But um, that was a he, ta- he, 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 he talked. He talked about. That's right. I'm gonna be bad. White, white, white. The no, fucking goddamn it. Anyway, um, the uh, he talked about how like they 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 hinted. They've been hitting for a long time that, like, you know, they, like they let you know someone's gonna die or at least one person. So, like, yeah, apparently for him anyway, and I can see how it would work. Every time there's like an encounter like that, you have that in your head. Like, is this person gonna die right now? Like, it, it this, makes you kind of like this was, movie is viciously cruel. It teases you like, because yeah, it's like, got two was, hours to tease you on who's gonna die and who's not. Like, he was saying like it's one of the first movies in a while where like usually you know like. And you laugh or you talk yeah, you're, you're you're a second. Like, you for laugh, a second. You laugh and then, like, be quick because you want oh, yeah. to focus oh, no, on the yeah. it, It's funny as hell, too. Like, it, it sort of it sort of retains the comedy that sort of really started with Guardians of the Galaxy and went to Thor Ragnarok. It's got sort of that same sense of humor in it. And it's like everybody sort of gets their moment to shine, you know? So you got all the characters coming together. Although they're, they're sort of separated by distance. Like, there's little groups of them all doing certain things yeah. trying to achieve the same goal and it's really good like i, yeah. I will say like everybody gets a moment to shine nice. and it's probably i mean they they didn't fuck it up i'll give them that like the, the culmination they, they've been working on it for 10 years or so now so yeah like it's, it's it's what the dc universe should have been because essentially it's kind of the same idea right i mean dark yeah. seed is thanos in, in the DC universe, essentially, same idea. It's like say Dark, Dark Seed, yeah. Dark Side, Dark, Dark Seed. Dark Side, whatever, yeah. whatever the fuck is stupid name. It's it's all the same. Same. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck, I don't give a fuck. No, no fair. You set a dog red beard on the ground. Thanos is stupid. I, I like it, it's, it's essentially the same idea. Big bad guy is going to destroy the universe. Shows up and the heroes have to fight him. But it's like the Avengers actually they do it right. Well, yeah, like the Dark Side. Like there's the the similarities, like the. You know, this, this is the DC version of this in the Marvel universe. Thanos or Thanos, whatever you want to call them, and Dark. I never, I've, I've only ever heard Dark Side. Oh, yeah, but yeah, they are, they are, seed. they are, they are like <laughs> the exact same kind of big, the the biggest bad guy in the universe. 
basically. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say Dark Seed. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. I like Dark Seed. Dark Seed. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little it's, bit more gritty. A little yeah. bit more gritty. It's a, it's a lot, it's a lot less. You guys like uh, the Dark Seed? Did you mean like Dark Seed? <laughs> it's like, it's like the, it's, 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 it's essentially the seed of darkness. And yeah. Or as Charlie Murphy was a darkness. No, um, darkness. He, he, either, either, either or, <laughs> either or could technically like be. You know, uh, it, it works. But so, yeah. so Lee of the of the of the beers you sent me the beer mail. Is there any you want to do duo specifically? You uh, said Fuller's Imperial beer. Stout, right? Like, is that? Yeah, sent that. I can't do that one because that's oh, what the do you mean? Can't one. you motherfucker? That's the only. That's the only you bottle I had. Fucker. That oh, was I... the one I wanted to do with you. Oh well, 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 hey, I can I can just cut that out of the box and keep it for myself. Let me okay. Let's let's just slow down. Let's, uh, not let's just, yeah. Let's, 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 also, you should be calm and rational, all right? Yeah. I, I, I never did say, uh, Joe. I watched that fucking uh, DJ's brew tube. Fucking like you sent him so much beer, man. Oh, the forty-two beers. Yeah, that, that was a lot. He's like was, lining it up. He's that was just funny. Like, oh, oh, yeah, well, yeah, like, yeah. Joe. Joe goes a little crazy with some of his beer mails. Like he sent me a package that was seventeen pounds. Yeah, and that and and that made it to you actually, which that that's, yeah, yeah, that's that, impressive. Yeah, it does. Are, are you are you not aware, uh, Redbeard, that for upwards of almost ten years now, people have been sending beer mails on beer tube between the borders of Canada and the U.S. <laughs> without without any problems? Well, I, let's I, not say any problems, really know. but just with like, very even, few even problems. When I, prohibition was going on, they were transporting. I, th I thought it would have been more like more packages just got fucked over than not. But I, I don't no. send a lot back and forth anyway. So I don't know, but that's Most, that's awesome. Here's to know the because, thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Like customs agents or whoever is going to go through them they really don't give a rat's ass about mm -hmm. what's in there as long as it's as long as like if there's guns or fucking actual legal drugs and stuff but if no, you I agree. in there as yeah. long as they're not broken if they open up they're like whatever what the fuck even yeah. if it's broken i think lee's had some where they just bag it back up and fucking yep. repackage it instead really? of like, really oh, yeah. so they don't care man they Unless don't want a problem craft beer, they might steal it if they like it like, they might take it yeah yeah they, they they don't want a fucking problem I, i've never had a problem with it it's like i've gotten Packages that have obviously like been damaged, like one or two bottles broken in the package. They just put fucking. They'll open it up. They'll put plastic around the fucking broken bottle. They'll they'll package it back up and send it on its way. They don't give a fuck. I've about ordered it. I've ordered some glass pieces from uh, Canada before too. They don't care. They don't care no. about that. No, they don't. All, think... like, like listen, all all they all they need to know is if you're sending across border. Sending sending anywhere in Canada doesn't give a fuck. You don't have to declare nothing. So it's like you send a fucking beer package. You don't have to fucking tell them shit. You just put it in the goddamn box and send it to whatever province you want. No matter. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you want to send it across the border, you have to declare what's in it. You can fucking lie. All you whatever. have to do, all you have to fucking do is let them know. Liquid. That there's something in there that's breakable with liquid in it. Mm -hmm. That's like, all like, they give a fuck about. I mean, so, Joe, Joe, when you sent that big package, to me, what did you say it was? Uh, vintage Coca Cola bottles. There you go. That's, vintage Coca Cola that, bottles. That, that, my, that's... my, my. My go to wow. is lava lamps. The lava lamps, wow. snow globes. <laughs> snow, snow. So, the, so the key ones are lava lamps and like snow globes. That's awesome. I snow like Snow globes it. as well. Snow but globes. But vintage Coke bottles for me was like, okay, there's going to be Coke bottles. They're going to have Coke in them. It's. I mean, yeah. people collect vintage Coke bottles that are full, just no, like that, some people yeah, do. That, that, so, like, yeah, it's, it should work, and I've never had That's an fine. issue either. Um, and, and the and the only reason they asked that is because they want to know: should I be able to drop this package somewhere and treat it roughly? Yeah, what kind yeah. of yeah. Is that? Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Which is why you have to pack it for war, because that that's almost like a challenge yeah. to certain individuals, where they're like, yeah. so I so one of those packages I sent to DJ. That's why I don't. A, I don't ever. There was a legit divot in the side that. of the fucking box, like someone kicked it with steel-toed boots. Like, <laughs> what do you want to do? What's in here? Can we break it? It made it to him, but like there was Thanos just took the Infinity Gauntlet and just. Yeah, maybe not. Ah! That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exaggeration, but, but I mean, that. listen, the the, the, the fucking the at, the prevalent attitude from some people, like say Doctor Dave, the beer professor, who has this idea that if you put fragile in your box, that immediately means the fucking people at the post office are going to kick it. That's because he's a piece of shit, and he thinks everyone else is a piece of shit. It's not the truth. <laughs> the, and, and here's the thing, though: being a cat, it's it is flat out ridiculous. That sending a package to Canada or from Canada to the U.S. is the same as like sending it to some foreign country, and they treat they they treat it the same. Where you have to go, that's ridiculous. 
Well, with, with, with sending beer yeah. back and forth between provinces, it's pretty much yeah. Like going but like, still, it's still it's, fucking. St it's all of it's dumb. There's it it's, is yeah. It's like you guys have the individual provinces. And our Supreme Court off. just upheld yeah. how dumb yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a fuck. All that's a joke. That's so dumb. But well, talking nice things. I'm having a, a delicious can of Twin Pines IPA again by Soda City because my sister's awesome. Looks all like Rob wants to go first. One I had was nine percent. This was eight point eight. So I'm, I'm, I'm let, I'm, let Rob end it so we can find all the squirrels in the morning. Well, we're still online. Holy Christ! Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Rob. Thank yeah, you. For, I, thank you. I know you guys want to hang out. That's cool, but yeah, I, I know. I know what's going on. I start. I start saying names like Doctor Dave. It's like <laughs> we, need, we we got to get off line, guys. Come on. <laughs> It's not that bad. He's got squirrels in the attic. Lee has gone too far. He's gone too far. Ace this guy calls in the morning or whatever. But yeah, no, you guys are all good. Or I'm just going to take it offline. But thanks for everyone who ever uh, commented. Lee's in here yeah. now. But we had Raz124 and a couple others. So thanks. Really? We still got some people watching. Cheers so to everybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, Terry's thanks. quick beer reviews established 2014. He's a UK reviewer. Says, hello, guys. Just going to work and you're bearing it. Gutted. LOL. Sorry, Terry. Hey, Terry. <laughs> It's unfortunate, uh, but it happens. But thanks that's a, that's it'd, be great to get, it'd be great to get Terry on the show sometime. Terry's a good guy. Yeah, some of the UK guys like would be really fun to get in here, but it's just it's tough with the you know the difference. It'd have to be on a weekend when they don't fucking care about the next day. Like Craig and Peter sometimes don't. They're yeah. up to like four or five in the morning. It's like, yeah, that's right. I don't fucking care about the next day. Yeah. But thanks yeah. for everybody that watched and everybody participated. And cheers, cheers. Don't drink and drive. I, I'll be Eric. Yeah, that bad stuff. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the invite, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it as well as him at all. Not even close. And on that, we'll go ahead and sign off. <laughs> <laughs>